Right. We should be live. You should be able to find the video. You should be able to put it on uh, Haunter's Hangout. They might take it down. I don't know if they'll let this happen. Or not. I have no idea. Um, really? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know. It's very. We're going to be very sales pitchy tonight. You know, that's that's what we're doing. So. I might have to give a haunt tip every uh, 20 minutes just to make it viable. So, okay. So I think the one person that watching watching right now is my wife. That's good. She's supportive. And you're on comments too, right, wife? Okay. Stan, can you pull up the video on your phone, on your phone, and uh, help with comments also? Yeah. Okay. It's we're live all right. here. Yeah. All right. Hi, everybody. So, yeah, um, tonight, the reason why we are doing tonight, um, I, everybody knows I'm not going to go over a bunch of it. Trans world was postponed in its postponement that has left in its wake. Lots of businesses that are struggling, lots of uh, companies who don't have an outlet to sell the stuff that they wanted to sell. Um, one of the things that I do every year is I spend a lot to get ready to go to Trans World and then I make enough to cover that back and it is a vicious cycle. That's every small business. Um, but tonight, uh, we're, we're doing live. I go live all the time, so we, I thought we would go focus on this live on a lot of the things that I was going to do for Trans World uh, that I have not, uh, I didn't get to show. And we're being very informal. Um, my wife has done an amazing job of getting the website uh, up and running right now. Some of these things are on the website. Uh, almost everything is on the website, but not completely everything. There's a few surprises I want to hold back for in person. Um, because, you know, I, I don't want there to be a trans world or an MHC or whatever without surprises. But let's leave some surprises to happen. And I'll be honest, I've got three or four of my crew who are working in the shop on things right now that I'm going to show you tonight. Um, this, this has thrown such a giant wrench in the works of the world. Um, honey, are there any comments of note to... Uh... Lots of hellos. You have 40 people watching. Okay, great. And uh, everybody, hello from Scotland. Happy St. Patty's. Everybody's here. They're we're building. Great. People. Great. So, yeah. And uh, right now it is six something, but I don't, my phone is, well, you guys are on my phone. You could mute that. It'll sound echoey. Does anybody know what time it is? It is 6.11. It's 6.11. All right. So we're probably going to get started. All right. We're, we're started. We just need to get started, started. So, um, Boy, do I start with a WoW product or do I, maybe I should have written something down. Nah, that's not me. Uh, so let's go over a couple of things that you can always get and I think haunt actors always need. Um, I'm trying to think also about what we need right now as an industry or as actors. And one of the things that uh, haunt characters always need is teeth. Uh, so I'm gonna point out teeth. Here, take this Krampus head, because right now, He's anxious, but it's not the time for Krampus right now. This is teeth. Uh, as you guys can see, um, we have a lot of styles of teeth, and they're 20 bucks a pair. These are the kind that have, honey, I'm going to open up some teeth, okay? So these are bite mares, all right? And we, we don't make them. We resell them. Um, but... For the money, I think they are the best. They have a couple drawbacks for the money. And what's happening right now, if you've never been to Trans World and you came to the booth and I wasn't sitting there sculpting, this is kind of how I would show you around the booth in this way. Um, if you showed any interest whatsoever. You guys are just stuck because what else have you got to do? There's a virus going around. You're stuck anyway. Um, are you not entertained? Yeah, exactly. So I want to show you a couple advantages. The, this is the wolf teeth. All right, there's a top and bottom. Here's why I like them. They have some flex to them. Um, dental distortions lately. Um, 
I, I don't know what it is, but ever since like their third gen of teeth, they snap, they break, they're brittle. Um, when you're setting these, put them in the hot water. Before you do any of the bead stuff, set them to your mouth and then put them in cold water. So then they're going to be the right curve of your mouth before you even put the beads on. I said these had a couple drawbacks over uh, something like dental distortions. That's how many beads it comes with. I don't think that's enough beads. For my teeth, that's enough for like the top. So when we sell them to you, and they also don't come with a case. You saw me open the package. When we sell them to you, we sell you extra beads come with it, because I don't think this is enough. Extra beads come with it, and you get a case. You get a tooth case. So this is great to hold your teeth in because um, at the end of the night, you don't want to put your gross haunt teeth uh, just in your bag or in a pocket or something. Uh, disgusting. That's how you spread viruses. See? Look what you did. <laughs> Whoever's watching, you know who you are. You did this. All right. So... Uh, I'm going to talk about hands and gloves later uh, because I'm going to talk about them with the hair suit stuff. Uh, so, tooth styles. They're all on the website. I have Undead. We have teeth that are licensed from it. Um, but I also, I want you guys to get in your brain. Just because this says it on the box, really it's just buck teeth. Okay? So if you have a rabbit character that you want to do, this is the teeth I'd recommend. If you have, um, God forbid, a clown that you want to do, then he could be made more interesting by having these teeth. Um, lots of different characters uh, could benefit from having some fun buck teeth. There are also it teeth that are like, I'm going to open these up too. My wife's just going to get mad because I'm going through packages like crazy. And then I'm putting them in a bucket. No. These would be my teeth. These would be my teeth. I'll, I'll take these. Oh, See, again, not enough beads, but they'll come. What you got? From Mike's Haunted Woodworks. What's wrong with clowns? Oh, um, mm -hmm. what's wrong with clowns? So it's just, yeah, I don't have a lot of time. Like, we're on a schedule. <laughs> there's not, and honestly, there's nothing wrong with clowns. Um, there's a lot of clowns. So it's really hard to be original. Understand, if you are going to a haunt in 2020 as a clown, you are not putting on your uh, big tuna costume and jumping in a lake. At that point, as soon as you're a clown, you're in with all the other haunt clowns, you're putting on a minnow costume and jumping in the ocean. Because there's so many haunt clowns, it's going to be real hard for you to stand out. You will not be a big haunt clown fish. That's a bad example because there actually is a clown fish. But you know what I mean. So anyway, look at these like crazy it teeth. If I were like a rabid bunny, this is what I would want in my mouth. This even said just down the rabbit hole. Yeah, everybody's laughing at your fun. Yeah. Oh, well, I can go into a... All right, so I'll be honest with you. One of the classes that I pitched to Trans World uh, that they did not take, by the way, I was teaching three classes, and one of the ones, I always pitch six, and I let them pick, and they pick three that they want. Or they say, hey, Alan, your ideas suck, teach this. That happens, too. Um, one of the ideas that I pitched them was, Alan bitches about haunt clowns for an hour, because the classes are an hour long. That was an actual thing, that, and I thought there might be some value in it, but uh, they didn't think that was good. But anyway, uh, we have, obviously, most teeth in stock ready to go. There's one style called Soul Eater that almost nobody has right now, and uh, hopefully we'll have those in stock uh, early June. Um, but why am I showing teeth right now? Because right now we are stuck inside. What can you do? As an actor, you can make social media videos. You can, as a haunt, you can take this time with a very small crew, work on videos to use later in haunt season. You know, that's something that you can do right now and you don't need your haunt set or travel for. I have to take this class. Well, okay, people, uh, right trans world. In all of their craziness right now, you know, right trans world, because they'll probably get a kick out of seeing the occasional email that says, hey, let Alan Hobbs teach a, cl teach a class where he bitches about haunt clowns for an hour. Because, once again, I would have too much content for that single hour. Uh, now, this shelf can go away. 
Uh, let me talk about, can I talk about stilts? Yeah, of course. Yeah, well, well, we have to talk about stilts. Another thing that I sell but do not make. A lot of things that, you know, what I try to do, one of the things I do is I find things that haunters need, and then I make sure that haunters have it. Um, one of the principles of my company is I kind of want to get knocked off. Like, I want the stuff that I make, I want other companies to pick it up and start making it, and then I don't have to. You know, right now I got to bring five booths, to I got to get five booths at Transworld to have all the stuff. I want to get knocked off so that um, I can back off of that and we can make other things. Because, you know, I'm, right now I'm not short on ideas, I'm short on the time to make the things that I want to make. But, stilts. Not a lot of guys selling stilts. Um, this is the stilt shelf. Right now, there are stilts on top of it. By the way, where you guys are right now is you are in my what I call the booth building. You're, you're not in the shop. You're not in the house. You're in the booth building. This is, this, see, this is a, just a backdrop. And this is the building where I store all of the stuff. Wife, can you peek your head so you can see the camera? Hi, wave. There you go. So we're in the booth building. The shop is that building right over, the, right over there. And that's where more stuff is happening. Maybe we'll walk over there later. But <clears throat> this is the easiest place for me to show you all the cool transport stuff. Any comments or questions at this point, honey? I'm answering questions. And yes, uh, love the pumpkin shirt. Greetings from Costa Rica. Uh, lots of people are on lockdown or enjoying the fact that you are doing this. Teeth and eyes are so important. Yes. Um, I don't sell contacts because the FDA won't let me, and there's 20 other people who do, even though the FDA maybe not let them either, but they do, so what do you do? Mike's Haunted Woodworks would like to me to message him about a hunchback costume. I see, I will. Uh, I absolutely will. Uh, I'm gonna show the hunchback costume a little bit later on. Would you grab me a stilt that is out and open? I think you had one that you put a boot on or something. Uh, all of these, see, I have a shelf full of stilts. Right there, see, a bunch of stilts. These are the, these are the stilts that my actors demo in at Transworld. I normally have three stilt walkers at Transworld, and they do demos on those stilts. Um, these are the stilts that are on the shelf, so people can see stilts. Cobwebs and candlesticks says, shake that moneymaker. Yeah, because was, there was nothing happening, so I thought yeah, I would fill the space. Uh, I'll yeah. send an email. Uh, Big Dog is sending an email about the color Frankenstein. He's interested in the oh, Frankenstein. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, Frank, yeah, we'll get to that. Yeah, we will. Soon. I swear and, it. Uh, I swear oh, it to be true. Um, Mike Spielberg says you're looking mean and neat. I'm, I'm down. I'm, I've slowed down quite a bit. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm working very hard. Um, I'm not eating wonderful things. And, <laughs> you know, it's uh, we, we have to... Now's the time for me to get healthier, whether it's TW or not. I'm waiting on a stilt to be brought to me. You have 87 people watching. Hello, 87 people. Stalberg says you can definitely tell you were slimming down. You, you know what? I was so fat it took 30 pounds before I could see anything. Have you introduced Stan? Uh, well, Stan hasn't appeared on camera yet. Later. Yeah, <laughs> it, trust me, they're going to see so much of Stan. And he'll be in costumes, he'll be in hairy costumes, and oh, not hairy costumes. Speaking of which, Stan, you should put on some black pants. Yeah. So that you're ready for that when the time good. comes. All right. All right, so uh, I want to talk stilts. I want to sell some folks some stilts. Um, because stilts are cool. Why are stilts cool? Stilts are cool because they are a mobile stage. Um... Not every actor should be on stilts, but also not every actor should be on stage. Um, <laughs> this is a portable stage. This will get you attention everywhere you go. If you want to go to a promo marketing event, uh, your actor on stilts is just going to get flat out more pictures taken and it's going to get more notice. I've seen it happen time and time and time again. One of the reasons why I make stilt costumes um, when I was younger is well, the attention was really nice. Let's put it that way, you know? And I noticed, wow, it's a huge difference being on stilts. But these are a portable stage. Not everybody should be on stage. Um, 
And we use stilts a lot at Dark Hour. Dark Hour is a haunted house that I direct it here in Texas. We use stilts all the time inside the show because it's, it is more effective to have an actor who is eight feet tall or nine feet tall step out at your guests than it is an actor who is, you know, six feet tall. There are people out there right now who are thinking, I have an actor who's six eight. He would be awesome on stills. No, you don't get it. Um, your actors who are five, six, and below, they're small. There's a place for that. There's so many cool characters they can play. Your actors who are six five, six, you know, six two, anything over six foot. I don't think they should be on stilts. They're already intimidating with size, and there's a lot of things that they can do. Those are guys who are in the middle. Those guys are in the middle of that height range, who are uh, blessed with unordinary with ordinary height. Um, we benefit the most from stilts because then we become versatile. Um, is your actor who is you know in between that five five and six foot? That is a great person to put on and, and train for stilts. Um, people have noticed my weight loss. These stilts are actually I only sell one kind of stilt. I sell one kind of stilt because. In the, good Lord, it's over 25 years of still walking. <laughs> over 25 years of still walking for haunts and in haunts. Um, this is the best type of stilt I've ever used. I want to show you guys something right off the bat. They are standing up by themselves. Most stilts only have a post on one side. That makes them unbalanced. So when you set them down, they have more weight on one side. They fall over. If you have to work to balance them, it's obviously harder and more strain than if they balance themselves. An actor standing on these is not going to get any more wear and tear than an actor who is uh, standing on their feet because they're not holding up any weight, they're standing on the ground, and they're not working to balance. You'll see actors on other stilts. It's easy for my eye to catch it because I've been still walking for a while but their legs look real bow-legged, and what they're doing is stilts they're putting on their legs. So a dual pole stilt. stilt. One on this up, and this goes around my cap. I was walking on these when I was 300 pounds. Um, hold on, scratch that. I'm still 300 pounds. I was walking on these when I was 340 pounds. Hot nights in them. They don't break. They don't fall apart. Um, I really like these stilts. They have this classic spring adjustment right here. If you're a big boy like me, tighten it down. You're going to want tension because this controls. Can you guys see that here? Those springs and that tensioner control that. Those springs are compressing. That's your natural step forward. Um, if it's real loose and you're a big guy, that's going to happen fast. So that's kind of weight-based or just how loose you like your stilts to move in action and in articulation. Um, yeah. The stilts, honey? Are online. Are on the website. And how much are they? They're ready to go. How much do you have them for on the website? Okay, we already have them. And this is, this, I'm asking. They've been on the website for a while. Yeah. I think you guys are going to get a special deal, is my guess. We have them for $2.95 before shipping. $2.95. Um, Am I changing that? No. Well, not right now. Leave it at $2.95. Because what happened was tariffs, like this and many great things, it more tariffs now on goods coming in, so these cost more. Um, so that price will go up. Um, it has gone up on other sites already, and I, I think uh, we're going to keep it at that for at least two weeks. Our stilt costumes come with stilts unless you tell me you already have them, in which case we'd have to send you a special invoice and whatnot, but we'll figure all that out. So. Wife, mm -hmm. should I do werewolves next, or should I do hairy and scary? Werewolves. Werewolves, okay. 
All right, so again, in the story and the saga, I'm I'm a werewolf guy. I love me some werewolves. Leslie, take these trolls for me. These trolls are going to go on top of the Harry and Scary show. These are actually extra trolls. So I had a little bit of stock for the sales. Stan or Ivan, would you take these gorilla loves? <laughs> the booth building truly gets organized when we come home from Transworld. Not before Transworld. <laughs> My life is organized into everything that happens before Transworld. It's, it's pre-Transworld and post-Transworld. Pre-Transworld is things I have to get done. And post-Transworld, there are other things that I have to get done. And it is such a weird year for everybody right now who is a haunter because we didn't have a trans world. It's so weird. All right. Um, this, I, you know, I'm a werewolf fan. I always have been. And trans world was uh, having a werewolf themed ball. So uh, I thought I. It says, aren't werewolves hairy and scary? Uh, yes. All, <laughs> all werewolves are hairy and scary. But not all hairy and scary things are werewolves. I have, man, have I got hair to talk about later. It is, I have exciting hair. I think, um, I think we uh, hung up the internet last. Are we? I am still live and good. Okay, I'm spinning. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. As long as Maybe you're... get another computer hooked up with comments? No, I, I got you. No, I've got comments. Comments are coming in. You're just spinning. Okay, I, I seem good. My wife has a concern. Can you guys see me? Am I moving? Okay. <laughs> I'm going to reset. Okay. Yep. All right, so yep. let's Bye. talk werewolf stuff. Um, I have a bunch of werewolves that are your straight wolfman mask. And I have a couple different sculpts that we did. And you'll see that, you know, that's a fun wolfman. I'm gonna put them on because I just I just like it. Tony, would you bring me the spray bottle of 99% alcohol? That way I can show them me spraying out the mask after I put it on. But I'm gonna put the masks on. It's happening. But I'll be safe also. I don't feel sick. I don't look sick. Uh, doesn't mean I'm not sick, but it just means right now I feel fine. I, had, I won't say who, but one of my shop helpers was like, man, my, my throat feels a little sick. Four cans of spray paint in an eight foot by eight foot room. <laughs> and you weren't wearing a dust mask. That's why your throat hurts. Oh, yeah. All right. This is 99% alcohol. Um, I use it a lot. That's why this looks well loved. Oh. Going again? Good for you. All right. Okay, so oh, here's some exciting news. Great! I changed my strapping system. I'm excited. About um, which a lot of people are like, oh, great, you changed the strapping system. Who cares? Um, I'm trying to find one that's done the old way. I know I have a few done the old way, but I used to do one Velcro strap just above the eyes that went around the back of the head. It's possible for that to hit a pressure point here and to give you a headache, uh, especially in situations where you want your mask to be really tight. Uh, to change that up, what I have done is I've gone to two elastic straps. See those two straps? Those two straps put to your head better, and it's just way more comfortable because instead of the stress, I had a two-inch wide strap before. Now, oh, look, this guy. So this guy has the old strapping system. Wait, no, Leslie. Um, it doesn't mean that this is super uncomfortable. It just means I think this is more comfortable. And look at me. I am a creature about comforts. <laughs> There's probably baby powder in here. I'm going to look like I did a bunch of sweet, sweet cocaine when I take this out. Oh, my God. <laughs> so. <clears throat> <sighs> 
your mother in law's This is a wolf man. I said I'm gonna look like it. I'm not doing it. It's just baby powder. Okay, so this is that. Uh, we have a lot like this that are. Am I really powdery? Mm -mm. No, no. Good. Not, not terrible. Alcohol. I think 70 is a better disinfectant than 99. They said your hair was perfect. But I used 99% quite a bit. Um, and I'm going to tell you what werewolves are the perfect haunted house monster. One of the reasons why clowns are so popular is because when you put on a clown costume, it tells you what to do. It whispers in your ear, do a crazy laugh and act like a butthole. That's what the clown costume tells you to do, you know? And most costumes don't tell you what to do. Haunt actors need a little bit of coaching and guidance on some of that. But a werewolf costume also tells you what to do. Act ferocious. So I think there's no haunt where a werewolf is out of place. You know, uh, this is, and we just did a bunch of different type of wolfman and werewolves, and these guys will be um, on the website. I don't, I don't know that every single individual one is on the website, but it will be. Get to work, wife. I want it. Yeah. I want All right. It. Wait, wait. wait. Um, oh, yeah, I don't know. So that's one style that we did. Another style that we did which is what I have worn in my life for years and years, is this, where it's open. Every open werewolf mask that we sell on the website comes with a pack of werewolf teeth. The teeth that I originally showed, those wolf teeth, they come with these masks. Because when you put them on, look, see, this guy has Velcro. So I made him before I made the discovery of, well, this is a little more comfortable. I'm adjusting my Velcro strap here, and I pop my beard through. Uh, and then if I have wolf teeth in, or if I have contacts in, they they show. Um, you know, it's kind of nice. I like that. I like this look. I can also breathe. I can also speak. I can also uh, drink or eat if you want to wear it at a party. There was going to be a werewolf party. Now there's no werewolf party. No. <laughs> anyway. So that is, yeah, no werewolf party for you. Um, wolf, uh, they come with wolf teeth. So you buy this mask. Um, honey, how much are they? These are 100 bucks, aren't they? Yes. Because they're a half, half mask, mask with, with, hair. with hair. So that's 100. Right. Yeah. You have a white one, too. All right. They said you have a sweet werewolf beard. As my, as my wife has kind of just pointed out, not everybody has a gray beard that matches in with their gray werewolf hair. So, I have, for the younger werewolves in the audience, <laughs> I have it in brown. I have them in black. Black. And I tried to make the skin tones a little, you know, to match with what the hair face was doing, you know. Yeah. Um, and okay, and right. I want them to be cool. I also did one in white, not for like really old Santa people, but just because. Um, yeah. Few things look more awesome than a polar bear that just ate a baby seal like it was a juice box, you know? And there's just this beautiful white animal with red blood all down the front of it. That's a powerful image. And we, we make our living off of powerful images. So I might throw this one on too, I have to. Now keep in mind, I would airbrush or put a little bit of uh, grease makeup in my beard to make it be white also. I won't do all the Velcro this time. This one's one too. It's just, it's powerful, you know, it's a, a white, a white monster looks cool.
Hundred dollars is a steal. So the white one is my favorite. Um, yeah, and oh, by the way, cobwebs and candlesticks needs a uh, foam-filled gill man head, and uh, they're going to put it on a spear. So they're going to send an email to us. So okay. We're get a. Yes, uh, Stiltby Studios at Gmail. Stiltby Studios at Gmail is our email. Um, our job as vendors really is to give you ideas. We make stuff so that you have ideas for your show. You're going to see this stuff, and that's going to give you ideas of what to do. I, I don't sell a gill man head on a spear, but. You bet I can make one. You just have to have the idea to tell me, hey, I need this. You know, that should happen throughout the night. Gilman mask is how much? Uh, well, it would be 100 because it's, it's full. It's a full head. Okay. Yeah, full head. All right, so you would think I was done with werewolves. You're not. But nay, nay. I have what I think is one of the coolest things. Oh, you know, oh i got to show this other wolf man, too, though, because... I did one with some blood. Blood doesn't cost extra. Mm. It's it's just it's nice. So, so you, you guys are a little bit. Hello, buddy. There. Now when I put things in camera, they're lit. We have a light in here that is like the sun. It's like an LED panel, and it is. At night, it's like aliens are coming to suck you up into their. Alright, so anyway, that's a wolf man. Let's put him down. You can see I have a lot of these uh, moving jar wolves. Let me put one of these on. Because of who I am as a person. Alright, so a werewolf, normally you are stuck with the facial expression that was sculpted into it. Um, we have a moving jaw werewolf mask. So you have all the menace of opening and closing your mouth. If you make a werewolfy roary sound, they're going to hear it. This part alone looks a little silly, but this is necessary to work the mask. I have my mask like completely open so I can put my chin through that hole. Then this goes down. That's fun, you know. I could, you know, that's why it's just going to go for like a couple hours. I'm just going to do this to the camera like all the time. You're scaring your puppies. That's a good, I mean, that's a that's a, a, a werewolf mask. Again, I can do it in black, brown, white, uh, cinnamon color. Yeah. They like the, they like that one. They like the ears yeah. too. Okay. Yes, I'm glad you mentioned the ears. Ears, I have ears. finally freaking figured out the ears on these guys. See how these ears are turned back? Um, I have several like this. This is a little bit more of a howling style ear where the ears are up. That, that's more from the movie The Howling, and I like that style of ear. This is the same ear that we just styled backwards a little bit. He looks a little more pissed off, you know? This guy heard you coming. This guy's gonna kill you. This guy heard you coming. Mm -hmm. And then this guy comes in to kill you. You know? So this is an ear option, I guess. And we have I got about 15 of the Wolfman in stock, open beards and full face. And I have six or seven of the moving jaw werewolves in stock. Honey, how much is a moving jaw werewolf? Ooh, moving jaw. Oh. See, not on the website yet. Moving jaw is going to be. I thought they were at 150. Moving jaw werewolves are 150 bucks. 
That's down from what they used to be, but that's it's a trans world special. perfectly fine. Yes. So they'll be 150, and we'll have them on the uh, website shortly. Tomorrow. If we don't have them tomorrow, tomorrow, wife says. Tomorrow. She says I'd do it tomorrow. Cop All right. And candlesticks just bought a mask and cool. Very generous. And uh, we also have gloves. Uh, we have uh, werewolf gloves. I'll kind of show you those when we go through Harry and Scary. Um, I'm going to get this guy out of the way now. Do you have a beginner class for mask making like this? Um, uh, <laughs> I have a mask making class, yes. Come, Leslie, mm -hmm. keep in mind, there are things on this shelf taller than the door. So mm -hmm. if you attempt to wheel it straight to the door, calamity will get ensue. Get it out of the camera and then fix there it. There you go. All right. So... Uh, I think we should do something else next. Uh, Leslie, you want to talk about hats? We can talk about hats. Okay, so one of the things that I do is, A, I like starting businesses more than I like finishing businesses. Um, but also, you know, I, I just like, like have ideas and then, like I said, I want other people to do them also. Um, Leslie has run with Hexessories, which are the necklaces and things that we do. Um, but a lot Hexessories really started because you you could get a base costume from places, but all the little knickknacks and things you really had to find yourself. And I wanted to be able to have like crow skull necklaces, you know, but not even have a necklace. You tie it on your belt, like goblin characters. Um, Hexessories started with little things like teeth and whatnot, just like that. Um, and it, it, here's here's another one. This is a this is a accessories piece that we're embellishing a hat with. You know. Uh, so Leslie, why don't you talk about hats a little bit? Okay. I'm gonna get a drink of water. Oh, or a Monster Energy if my wife isn't watching. I'm watching, and you don't have one. It's cold. So you think? <laughs> yes. Ooh. And they're durable. Hey, while you're setting that up, we have a question. Okay. Is spray foam only a bad way to make masks? I used to and got some good ones, but they are itchy. Don't make masks out of spray foam. Um, you, you can. Uh, it's, it's itchy. It's not comfortable. Um, it's, we don't know what chemicals are really in it that's going to leach out when it heats up and go into your skin. If it's got heavy metals in it or something like that, that's going to poison you. It's going to attack your liver. We don't know what's in spray foam, and they don't have to tell us. So don't make things out of spray foam that you're going to wear right up on you. Um, now, putting on the outside of something for decoration, like zombie vomit or something like that, that's not terrible. But um, making a whole mask out of it, your face and your neck is very sensitive skin, so I would not do something like that per se. Leslie made my voodoo priestess costume. Thank you to Hexessories. Yeah, uh, she's awesome. That's why she works in the booth. Uh, talk about your stuff. Okay. Hi, guys. I got my uh, showstopper right here. No, not the hat. I meant... <laughs> Go, okay. Ivan. So, like he was saying, my Hexessories, which I sell the pieces separate and... Um, Louder, Leslie. In a group. In a group. Hello. In a group, so you can actually put them on the hats as well. Um, I'll give you some of my, these are one ofs. Hey, um, Leslie. Yes. Speak up a little bit. Okay. You're a bit far from the camera, and you're a quieter person than okay. me. Okay. Surprise. Oh, she is not a quieter person. No, no. No, no, I have, no, no, no. I have my moments. Okay. So this is one of my Western hats with the, the, little, the little skulls on there. And this one's like a 45. Like I said, some of them are um, one ofs. Some of them I can do, uh, if you really like it, I can do one similar. If this one sells, you uh, you can like take a picture or tell me what it looked like. And I can do one almost like it. Those hats are nice. And can we please see the red one? Which which one? This one? I'm sure. I think it's the red one up at the top. <laughs> this one? It's the mask on it. This is this one you're talking about? It's got the feathers in the back. And this one is there you go. 25. So some of my 
This is our transworld prizes, so you can have them now. Okay, so hang on, let me do one at a time. Ivan, you need to be putting those on. Oh, man. Now, let me explain this hat that he is wearing <laughs> right now. Okay. Oh, I love this hat. <laughs> this is adorable, and it's you can bend it as you want it. <laughs> Take it around. It's got the spider web. Oh my god! <laughs> on the back. Plus, you can't really tell, but it lights up. It has little bat LEDs all over it. It's got a battery pack on the inside of it. It can be turned off and on. Look at Ooh. that! Look at Woo. that! See, sexy. Right here. It can be turned off and on. It's got a little pocket on the inside of the hat, so you can wear it with or without. And this one is a hundred dollars. So it's the really velvety kind of plush material. So there's that one. And I Ivan, just, I will sell Ivan. With, uh, Ivan will we'll totally sell Ivan. Wait a minute. Don't, don't think I won't. Don't think He's at least rent. Okay. He's at least a rental payment. So. Each hat is different. Pop and chops never like, look pretty. This one right here. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Don't Keep get it in the big head, you guys. <laughs> it's got the eyeball feather in the back. The lace that's on it is a spider webby lace, that which matches all over the hat. This one right here has the spider detail. This is a heavy duty metal embellished with the feathers on the back as well. And these guys are 45, which is a steal. Okay. <laughs> Next. What kind of favor to witch hats? Because I play one on TV. You do. <laughs> <laughs> this one is another one that lights up. This is how easy it turns on. Does that have a little pocket in it for yep. the? Yeah. Absolutely. That's like the best. A little Show Velcro that. pocket for the battery. Show on the inside. And these also the witch hats are adjustable in size. So. But there's the, the back of it. Work it, Ivan. How much to make Ivan dance? And as you can tell, this is like <laughs> oh Halloweeny as well. It's got spiders on it, and this one's a hundred dollars. It's got the the dual veil on the back. And my most favorite is this tall hat. Why is that your favorite? This is the biggest, which is ice witch hat. Oh, it also, body as hell. It also lights up. You can't tell, but it does. Here, here. There we go. See? You see the lights? Imagine wearing this and strutting your stuff. It's great it's got for the, a winter ball. It's got the fuzzies on the front. I'll buy Ivan. I need a hundred dollars worth of lessons. <laughs> Derek, we're gonna, we sold Ivan. Oh, right, guys, I just got sold them out. Okay, great. Everybody wants to buy Ivan. Oh so, my God, Ivan, you just someone just sent two dollars for you to dance. Tip in the Ivan dance. Do it, Ivan. Keep dancing, Ivan. You guys. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, this is my. If you have a swampy character, sure. voodoo. This one. Very nice, and it has the elastic inside, which is adjustable. Or any hat. This is one of my favorites. It's got the, all the way around, and this one is 65. It's got one of my little accessories on it too, I've right there. And are we going to add this to the website? Yes, we can. Okay. And for you, those of you that kind of like the steampunk look but want something a little eccentric, horn punk. <laughs> horn punk. Okay, we'll go with that. It's got <laughs> That's the, been named. This is also an adjustable hat. Got it inside and just we'll hat. Hang on. And so it's got the little horns here. So I'm gonna say something here. I don't know if you've already said it. Maybe you're not an actor. Maybe you're in management, but you still want to run the run around the haunted house, look a little bit festive. Um, because frankly. A lot of haunters look like me. We're kind of big guys and we look scary all the time, no matter what. Putting on a little something like a hat like this makes you more approachable. And then people are more likely to come up when they need you and, you know, things come to you and you don't have to go to it all the time. I'll get out. Yeah. This one, it's got a real pig snout on it. Gross. I know. It's got a what? It's also it's got a, a pig real, snout. real pig snout right there. Gross. 
That's disgusting. I know. That's what I like about it. That is so Where did you get a pig snout? No, or anything online. Don't ask. Alan, don't ask. <laughs> I'll send two dollars so Alan will not dance. There you go. Great. I'm down. (laughs) This is a two parter. (laughs) This is pretty awesome. It's got the feathers, adjustable hat band, it's the raven skull with the little horns. This is pretty this is one of my favorites. Rocket. Honey, you should you should do a model. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Get another model for you. My wife says you should also throw hats on my hands. Okay. Put a hat on Alan. There we go. Very nice. You're looking very crocodile then being that. Yeah. Alan can rock yeah. any hat, just ask him. Yeah. He's I, a hat, hat guy. Hat. Your mother in law likes this you. This has got hats. the fur, and like you were saying before, the accessories. But this is a heavy duty treated hat. hat with the fur, the whole glove is uh-uh. looking at uh-uh. the fur. Uh-uh. 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 It's it's gonna, not, not the hat? This can be no. worn outside because it's also treated. Oh, whitest husband. <laughs> yeah, this this is one of my favorites. It's got the lace on the top. Little accessories there, all the embellishments all the way around. This is one of my favorites right here. So this one's sixty-five. Okay. Stacy. And um, and we are also open to hey, I have a character that I'm making, mm-hmm. and I'd like a hat for it. And then we get info about your character, and then we could make you a hat. How much for the raven hat? Um. How much was he? 65. 65. 65. And 65. it is adjustable inside the band as well. Thank you, cobwebs and candlesticks. $10 tip for the dancing. Please keep wiggling, Gloria. That's from my pirate <laughs> <laughs> Oh, my goodness. All the fancy in the back. I could murder someone wearing this hat. <laughs> that's for sure. This is one of my favorites. And no one would suspect me either. This is no, adjustable on the inside. <laughs> this is a heavy, heavy-duty hat. Got the double band, nice little poof feathers. But I like the material on the back. Rock it out. Classy. It is. This is classy. I, I don't know that this is a dude hat. This is no, no, it's, it's, fine. It's, it's, it's taking a fancy to that hat. Gina, jump in. I want that. I don't want to be on camera. You like? Do you like, like this hat? One. I like this whole thing. Then, I mean, it's just, it's nice, but it, it's a little bit creepy, and that's, that's nice. That's everything. That's it's haunted mansion-esque. Hey, Alan, can you, you hand that? that? Can you, you hand that to Janice so she can look at it? This yeah. is one of the fancier ones. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, yeah. We're never trying to sell stuff here. I like the gray vest. <laughs> I like the gray vest on the top vest. There you the one you've got right there. Yeah. Fancy band on the back. Like Fabulous. This one is 65. Super cute. All the fanciness tonight. Now this one you saw on Accessories Facebook page, and everybody loved it. It's the violet with the hand on the side that Matt kind of mimics the hand. Once again, I would, I would call that purple, not violet. But I'm not going to argue with you on camera. Yes, you are. <laughs> yes, you are. Oh, there. There we go. It's got the, go. the spider webs. You can see in the purple kind of accent throughout the hat. And violet. And a little spider on the front. Does this mean you ladies are pimping the guys out? Yes. Absolutely. Yes. Are oh, they yes. for sale too? Yes. Good lord. You go first because yours is way more fabulous <laughs> than, than this one. <laughs> How much for Ivan with shipping? Well, <laughs> it goes by weight. So <laughs> a lot. So he's, pick, he's a pickup only item. <laughs> this is his morning hat. Turn around. It's got, once again, it's got the... That is some Stop. yellow veil. I love that. And every of the flowers have the eyeballs in it, so everyone has a creep value of a factor of something. And kind. what I what I would do would because me and Leslie don't talk, you know, it just doesn't happen a lot. <laughs> anyway, but what I would do is look at where this veil cuts off, kind of. You just do a little bit of misted dark airbrush makeup up there, and then an actress. Not that you're not rocking this hat, but with teeth in. You know, what you've done with this veil cut oh, this way is you frame the mouth. And, you know, again, we have to make those visuals for people. Absolutely. Love the morning hat. The top hat looks perfect on Alan. Of course. All right. So, this is a top hat. It's, and I have several of these. It's fancy. Pretty yeah, pretty simple, hats. pretty standard. Yeah, it's, it's a heavy duty, super this, tall. This is a very nice hat. Yes. Fancy. All right. Um, I want to make a note. 
one of the reasons why we're doing hats and running down that road is because, um, hey Ivan, one of the reasons is because when I, I worked at a Scarborough Renaissance Festival for many years and I was actually um, with the character department and costuming and that's one of the things that I did. And one of the rules long before that I got there was characters have to wear hats. Your lane performers have to wear hats. And I challenge, I'm like, why? Why do I have to wear hats? Because I, I don't like wearing hats as a general rule. Um, and the, the GM who had done festival for such a long time is no one wears hats anymore. And it really makes your character stand out. Um, so I try, even in dark hour, I try and put something on everybody's head just so it makes them stand out. Why does a magician wear a tuxedo? That Because it's a uniform. You know, if you're going to be on stage, you got to look the part. If you want to stand out in a crowd right now, wear a hat that isn't a ball cap, you know, and you will stand out. Sorry. This one is the Rolling 20s, since we're back in the 20s. Good. That's like back right here. Got a little eyeball showing. Yep, and the feathers. But, yeah, this is a wool hat. It's very nice, heavy, duty made. So, oh my goodness. Yeah. Like I said, everyone has his own creep little factor. This is one of the other spider webs. Has adjustable on the inside. So it's got the little eyeballs. And this one, little skull on the side, little accent there. I want to rock this one too. Okay. <laughs> this hat makes me feel like I'm about to go very fast because the, the, the feathers are kicked back. Like I'm, You're going to sweep it. I have a head for hats. Yeah, and a face for radio. That's what I got. <laughs> Oh, I was gonna go with voice for radio. He does have a good voice for it. All right, okay. so this is your vampire hunting hat right here. Oh, look at that! It's got your your vials of, of blood on the sides. What? It's got your bones, real bones, skull cross, and a little accent on the back right here. So this is what you're gonna wear when you're you're hunting your vampires. It might look a little small for Ivan. Well, yeah. He's, it's, it's a he's little. Got a, a, he looks a little bit like Cowboy Woody with well, that hat <laughs> on the very top of his head. You want to use Stan's melon? Stan, you got a smaller head. Come on, Stan. Does Stan have a smaller head? I think it's seven and a quarter. Smaller head. That's not a small head. That's not a small head. That's not a small head. Not a small head. <laughs> Shiny. This is a different hat. I don't know anything about this hat because I didn't make it. <laughs> this is one of my other Western style hats. It's got the little accessories on the side, a little skeleton, a little fur, or a little feather. Every like cowboy hat like this. Head gives to me like a uh, House of a Thousand Corpses feel. Some of those character yeah. ODC characters and stuff. Like, this is one of my favorites yeah. with the, the feathers that stand straight up. That looks like the hat that if Dale Earnhardt were a meth head zombie, he would wear that hat. <laughs> yeah, and practice voodoo. <laughs> yeah, like that's that's where that hat takes me. <laughs> And this one is one of my $25 hats. That's a, just a nice fancy it hat. It is. And it's got your little creep factor here and in the bow as well. Yeah, it's Halloween-y. So, so there you go. In the back. So. It's nice. It's a, like it's a nice, nice hat. Okay. All right. So while that was it, right? That's it. You ran through. Great. Um, you can email us. And we're going to put hats up on the website, too, especially ones that people showed interest in yep. through comments. If there's one you like, make a comment on it. We'll make sure we add it to the website for quick and easy sale. Uh, we don't do everything quick and easy, so uh, you can also uh, just email us, again, at thestiltbeefstudios at gmail.com. And let's move. Dan Caro has signed in. Ivan. We are going on a field trip. Okay. We're going on a field trip. Um, nearby us here at Stiltby Studios, there is Jake with Effects to Go. And Jake, for the record, like I live in the woods, you know, like this is this is my house. There's an axe throwing target over there because that's that's fun. I get to practice the murderiness. Uh, this is all the stuff that I took out of my booth building, except Jake. Jake, uh, I did not take out of the booth building. And Jake is with Effects to Go, and they normally have the booth right next to us. Uh, and he lives pretty close by, so I thought we would share our time slot with Jake also. Great. Thank you. I may need you to get closer on a couple of these. Right Why not just get closer? I'll just give this feel. Yeah. 
Thank you, Kids. Um, for, thank you to Alan for letting me hijack some of his airtime. So thanks, Alan. You're welcome. Yay. Yay. Uh, cool. So Jake with effects to go and going to show some of y'all some of the new stuff that we've got this year. Um, first, I have a DVD. If you're new to haunting at all, or if you're new to the tech side of it at all, this is something that will help you out. Uh, this is two hours of tips and tricks, and I tried to cram in all the basic stuff. What would help any haunt? What was stuff that I was trying to build when I was 15, you know, at home in my room that would be really cool for Halloween? And I tried to put a bunch of that stuff into this DVD. Are you tearing stuff up? Alan's wrecking things. Yeah. I tried to put a lot of that into this DVD. Uh, so everything right now on everything I'm going to show you guys on the effects to go website is already discounted at show prices. The DVD is at the show price of only $20. And uh, so some of the stuff you're gonna learn on the DVD, again, if you're new to tech, uh, I'm gonna walk you through the basics of 12 volt LED lighting. So maybe you, you're kind of scared by all that. You in the front row. Um, could, could I get some DVDs from you and put them on our website too to move product for you? You can do that. Great, okay, sure. carry on. Cool. Awesome, thank you. Wife, make it happen. <laughs> Uh, so in the DVD, I'm going to teach you an overview of 12-volt LED lighting. So you're going to learn all the basics, how to wire it together, how to look at power supplies, types of LED lights. Um, that's all stuff that I cover in one segment here. And then for anyone, whether you're new to lighting or you've been doing it for a while, I'm going to go over a lot of lighting design principles that work in the haunted environment. Um, there's a lot of theatrical-based stuff, but a haunted house is a unique animal. You want to show off your sets and your costumes and your props. You want to make everything look good. But you're also, end goal is to scare people, so you want to keep it dark in the right areas and bright where you want to see the cool stuff. So there's a lot of cool real-world design tips that I show you behind the scenes at Dark Hour, and you'll get to check that out. Um, you're also going to learn blood recipes. I have two blood recipes, one for actor blood that's mouth safe, you can eat it, and one for decorating sets and props. Super easy, super, super cheap stuff. I'm not going to get into the debate about who makes the best permablood. I think they're all good. I'm just showing you the way I've done it for a while, and it has worked for me, and it's super cheap, super simple, super easy. Also, some real-world examples from Dark Hour. And then I'm going to show you how to build an air cannon, just a basic popping air cannon. Um, it's the easiest, quickest startle you can put in any haunt. Um, it's not tied to any theme, so I'm going to walk you through the steps of building your very own air cannon. So. Lots of cool stuff in here if you're new to the tech side of things. I'm here. I'm here. Can we get closer. Uh, new this year, almost in a minute. New this year, uh, something I put together. Speaking of lighting, is how good this looks on camera. But this is a four foot, four foot shop fixture, fluorescent light. It's but flickering you, way more in person than it is on camera for yeah, some reason. Yeah, the, 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 the camera is not helping me here. Pro, I promise you it looks cool. Alan will back me up. It does look really cool. Alan we use it in a dark hour. endorses this. Right. Um, and yeah, this was born at dark hour. Um, there's a few different companies that have fluorescent lights on the market, and I wasn't happy with any of them. Uh, one, I didn't know where they looked. I thought they were too small. I said, I can do something better. And then the pricing, I thought, was a little crazy. So I said I can do something that looks better and cheaper, and so here it is, and it's on the website now for the show price, $225, and it's got a controller that comes with it. You can do lots of different modes. I don't know how well they're going to show up on the camera. They show up okay. It's pretty faint. It's all right. Yeah. Yeah. Got strobe. But uh, this guy is super distressed and has lots of different flicker modes. So if you have an asylum or a prison or a laboratory or anything like that, anything industrial, these would be great. And I do offer uh, bulk discounts. So if you do have a whole show with a theme like that and you want to use these throughout, uh, you can do quantity discounts on these guys. These are all over our asylum at Dark Hour. They are. <laughs> you want to get closer now on these next couple? Yes, I will get closer. All right. You know what I'll do? I will turn the camera around. I'll trust you. Before we move on to the next one here, look at this guy up close. Super distressed, rusty, nasty. And it comes like that. It comes like that. This okay, is all included great. in the price. This is no upcharge. That's actually good. I yeah. like that's good distressing. It comes with a power supply and controller, so you can set uh, all the different modes, different things you want to do. Brightness, you can dim it. Dim it down, dim it's it like up. It's like a space shot. Yeah. Crazy guy not included. So, yeah, so there's that. So, this is an oldie but a goodie. This is one that I had last year. It's brand new, and it's the Snake Strike Effect. And it comes with your very own pet rattlesnake. I told myself I would not Plastic. jump, and right. I did good. You did. Yeah. 
So this rig requires air and power and it's seated underneath the table and it comes plug and play ready to go and it comes with your very own prop rattlesnake. So whether you have a snake section in your show or not, people are afraid of snakes. And uh, this, I get to ask this at the trade show a lot. It's safe. That'll put your eye out. It won't, it, it won't it put won't. your eye out. It's, uh, it's a feather boa. See right there, it's a feather boa, super soft, super simple, and just a spring-loaded thing. So That's those awesome. are on the website for the show price of three forty nine. Three forty nine. dollars That shipped. All these prices include shipping in the U.S., by the way. And that's like a guaranteed scare every group. Pretty like much. Like, you're going to yeah. get somebody. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead. You know what? While we're on this, I want to answer another question I get about it. Can you put it on a motion sensor? Yes, you can. Why do I recommend the button? Because this is an up-close scare. You want people to be drawn to the snake and get close to it. And having an actor be able to do that timing to the right people in the group at the right time is going to be way more effective than having a motion sensor set it off when they're still six feet away from it. My so, my puppies are very intrigued by the snake. They, are. they were they were all over here. And then last but not least. Wait, this is like a video of video? This is a video of a video because that's, that's how efficient I am. And uh, here is the uh, Lunatic Lattice Effect, the Stretchy Lattice Kit. And uh, if you've seen me at the show, you've seen this before. And I have these kits now to the low, low price of $50. They were $89, but right now, um, in light of recent events, they are 50 bucks shipped anywhere in the U.S., and they are ready to go. And what you get in the kit is the elastic straps as well as step-by-step -step instructions on how to put this together and build what you just saw me doing here in the video. And so taking all the guesswork out of it for $50, you are ready to go. And those are all my toys. That's it, huh? I think so. Awesome. Thanks, Alan. Awesome. Thanks, Jake. Okay. So... The back of my shop is normally not this messy, but I took everything out of the booth building to make room. Okay, so. Ooh, ooh. All right, take my plug. Here we go. All right, so hi, everybody. Once again, we're back in the booth building, and we're going to show off something. Uh, I, I would love to say that it's new. It's not new. It is... I brought this to MHC, I think, Lord, seven years ago, something like that. Um, and at the time, there were companies who I thought were doing similar things, and they don't do those similar things anymore, or if they do them, they're very different from how we're doing this. Um, and the concept is called arm candy. And basically, it is something that you put on and it looks like your arm was ripped off and replaced with this little implement. Does it move? No. Why? Because they're only 120 bucks. If you want one that moves, we could do that. It would not be $120. This is a, it's very effective. Um, they pair well with our apocalypse mask that we do. They're not new, so I'll showcase them a little bit tonight, but not near as much. Um, as like arm candy. And this is one where if you watch the, my videos often, you'll know Rob is in the shop with me. And Rob has kind of taken this over as his product line. And uh, you can't tell me that's not freaking awesome. Oh, uh, does it move? No. But I guarantee I can get people to run from it in the dark. You know, come out at folks, you know. It, it's a nice character piece. Good for an outside performer, you know, it's real good to put, you know, up against the necky neck. People love that. As a youngster, I never thought I would hear, choke me, choke me, as much as I do on a, on a hot night. Because they they all want to get choked. Oh, like, no, no, like, make like you're killing me. This one is good. And if I'm doing you any disservice, Rob, I'm on good. this wonderful product that you have made, uh, let me know, because I really like them. This is hook. We call this hook because it's a hook. Because naming stuff is hard. Um, we have a we have a puppy in the shop here, who. Uh, yeah, puppy is wonderful, but they are puppies of mass destruction. They will eat everything. All right. So um, now you could. 
You get two. You could get two and have a character with two. I don't like to take away both of my actors' hands in case they want to, like, scratch their nose or whatever. But, you know, two looks cool, you know, coming out of people. Um, these are just fun. They're meaty. They're EVA foam. They're not heavy. They're actually very lightweight. Um, but that is true inch thick EVA or inch and a quarter, depending upon the implement of destruction. So far, yes. Saw and Bash are the front runners. Bash people like Bash. They like Bash and they like. Let saw. me show Bash. This this is claw. This is hook. Because naming stuff is hard. And uh, this is pincher. So the mace one is sweet. Pincher. Hi Rob. Hello Rob. Saying hi. And then Rob. yes, Bash. Hey guys. Bash is probably my this, favorite. Yeah. This. This says punch your friends in the face. You know, nothing, nothing says it quite like this. Sucker. These are on the website. Yeah, these are on the website. You can go there. You can buy them right now. Um, EVA foam and, uh, and and plastic. Um, now, I have a beefy arm. I have a beefy forearm, and this fits me fits nice. Um, if your arm is bigger than mine, which is possible but not really likely. Um, then you could just cut this tube down so it's a little shorter and it hits your arm a place where it fits. If you have an arm that is a little smaller, like Rob's, what I would recommend that you do, hold up so people can see the joint, is just put a little bit of couch foam in there and foam that out. And that way it fits nice and snug. Or do a little bit of a wrap, a bandage wrap on there, just like, because we started a bandage wrap and that gives more bandage wrap. The arm candy items should also be good in an office-based environment. Casual Fridays. That's right. Dan Absolutely. Dan says you should consider getting hooks for hands. Those look awesome. We love Rob. Thanks again. And then Scott Polhart has just posted the link. Thank you, Scott. Ah, thank you, Scott. Ah. Um, that's a nice knife. That's, that's just a wicked-looking knife. And the blade shape is actually from, like, it's rare that you see a knife blade and you remember like where you saw it first. This blade shape is the Vaquero blade from Cold Steel. Oh yeah! That is where I got this, which is a... There's another knife that that is shaped after called a Caraca, but yes. anyway. Now these have blood on them, and we can take blood or not blood, rust or not rust, we can make them left or right handed as the case may be. Or whatever you want. And we've got, we've got like 12, no, well we have we have the bases for like 20 or 30 in stock yes. that we can make up really fast. Um, but th this is an order placing item and they, they go pretty quick. Um, a lot of these parts are cut on a laser cutter for speed and, um, and just speed. Make it faster, make it more consistent for you. Have you yes. considered doing a chainsaw style? We have, there are more styles to come and you will see way more styles than this at MHC. Um, for the big TW, uh, we were going to go with this, these six styles, but uh, we'll do, there's more coming down the pipe. We have more designs. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Do you like the chainsaw idea? Yeah. I mean, that's a good idea. All right. So that's, that's, that's pretty much arm candy. Anything you guys want to see about arm candy? That's or, copper uh, If you and look patina. inside. Yeah. Now, most of these are geared to be for the left arm. That's so that way the actor has normal, most actors are right-handed, most people are right-handed. Their right hand is clear to open doors, open their water bottle, whatever an actor needs to do. Not be on their phone. Um, and then their left hand is the, their weapon arm. So, yeah. I, Guys, you're inspiring me. Yeah. I want to leave the stream and start making my own. Don't leave. I want to uh, buy them from us. Save your time. So let uh, Rob go crazy for arm candy. We, we are. You know, and arm candy is something that we can carry on because we're bringing these at a really good price point of $120. Um, that's, that's about what you pay for a mask. And most units that you'd see like this are not at that price. They're, they're much higher. So, but anyway. All right. So, take your things. Get out. Bye, everybody. Bye. Good Please, job, bye. Good Thank job, you. Bye. Nice to be Arm candy. Can't go right there. What?
Yeah, just this, this needs to get Is next Harry and Scary? Harry and Scary. Harry and Scary. It's not a you know what? Uh, would you rather move so that Stacy? Yeah, Stacy ready? ready? Uh, not yet. Okay. Okay, we'll do this. Oh, yeah, right. Stacy. assistance with this? No, uh, no. You know what? I'm going to run through black and white. I can help if you Let want Let me run. That. No, I'm going to run through black and white. Part. I'm happy to help just directly. She photographs well. Okay. All right, so. She's a nice person. <laughs> she's a very nice person. Very nice person. All right. We have some people who are excited about the Grave Digger, so this is probably a good Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gra the, grave Digger uh, is a wonderful mask. We've got our fish, our fish uh, mask is dangerously close to falling off here in the back. It's all fun and games until we lose a fish mask. Can you push that in there? And then uh, we've got some folks who are interested in the fish mask and in the Grave Digger. How much for the white curtain, Dan Caro? Dan Caro! How much are you going to charge Dan Caro for a white curtain? Uh, $100. Not this white curtain, but one like it. Okay. Thank you for holding my fish, man. That's not a euphemism. Uh. <laughs> All right, so... One of the things that I wanted to do this year, for many years, I did a black and white haunted house. It, the, the sets were all black and white, the, um, the, the makeup, the, the masks, the costumes, it was like you were in a black and white movie. Actually, when you went into it, you started a colorful theater, and then we were projecting a black and white movie with a slit in the screen, and you, once you walked through the screen, then you were in a black and white world. And I know it's weird and it's kind of esoteric to try and bring that to trans world. And not only am I selling people on the concept of a character that's black and white, um, I think that the world is ready for some simpleness. And I think the world is ready to get back to basics in many ways. So. Black and white is one of the things I wanted to do. And I wanted to do classic <laughs> monsters. Let me get him out of the way. Actually, this is a stowaway from the holiday shelf. This is Jack Frost from the holiday shelf. I'm not featuring the holiday shelf today. Look at that sweet, sweet beard. I'm not featuring the holiday shelf today because we have so much on our minds right now, and Christmas haunts are not one of them. Uh, that's pretty far off, so I'm not going to show you the cool snowman that I make. I'm not going to show you the uh, inbred Santa that I make or the elf six packs that I do. Um, but they're also not terribly new. Um, this is Frankenstein, Frankenstein's monsters right here. Um, there is the black and white version here. All of these guys are full costumes, which uh, I'll probably show some of those later. And they're also, I can do them in black and white. Uh, for Trans World, I was going to have three people up at a time in uh, full costume, black and white. And that way you could see the power that it has when there is enough of it together. Or you can get colored versions of the same classic creatures. Classic, classic. That's what Frankenstein. Um, I didn't do Dracula per se. I did a Nosferatu. And I will show you a Nosferatu color and a Nosferatu black and white. Now, Nosferatu was straight up a black and white movie. These are sock masks, so they're set up on sock heads. Um, Nosferatu, right there. I have to put this on because of yeah. because of who I am as a person. <laughs> um, and basically, with this guy, there's color in there. There's a little bit of there's some purples and there's some blues. You know, um, yeah. Hitchcock said the color took away the performance of the actor. Uh, in a way, it does. All I have to say is, wow, he kind of looks. Looks like a guy. Uh, Dracula as a mask could be kind of hard. That's very true. Well, and it's just a person. Well, it's very why not? Why not just do that with makeup? Why not do that with airbrush makeup? So sock masks. Um, 
I do a lot of things as half masks when I'm sculpting and molding. Um, and then I can turn it into a full head in a number of ways. One of the ways I do that is through a head sock. This is a heavyweight head sock. Why do you think Frankenstein is green when it is he who is made of human flesh? Well, it's rotting. Because it's rotting. <laughs> I think the green is supposed to be decay, rotting flesh. Dan Caro says, <laughs> Dan Caro says, these are really great. Don't tell him I said that. Okay, Dan, I won't say anything. Not a word. Not a word. With the sock mask, you can hear really well because there's only a little bit of fabric there. I mean, it's, it's nice, you know. Nosferatu. Full costumes with it. I, I won't probably do full silk costumes here. Dan Caro says leave the mask off. We'll do some. We'll show. Dan Caro's a big old jerk. <laughs> um, so one costume that we're working on that I'm very excited about. Uh, oh, so we have a werewolf in black and white also. That's fun. You must admit, that is a fun werewolf. <sighs> okay. Yeah, anyway. Um, and then we have Creature. The actor actually sees out in here and here. This actually can, it's many disciplines together because this mask is on a foam helmet. This mask is built onto a foam helmet, the same way I build my apocalypse masks, and that's all laser cut. All of these scales in the back are laser cut. These fins are laser cut here also, so that's actually EVA foam. When the mask is sculpted, there's a little nudge nub here that hides the beginning of that EVA foam fin, and there is little side nubs here that actually uh, give more surface area to glue these fins to. What haunt do you work at? So, I work at Dark Hour Haunted House in Plano, Texas. This is painted black and white. We also do this where it's painted uh, classic green. So, and it's a full head mask. They can get either one. Uh, yeah, um, and color and black and white. Uh, if they're not on the website right now, they will be very soon. They'll be tomorrow. They will be tomorrow. Uh, this all came at us very fast. We thought we were going to be on the road to St. Louis right now. Now, people were talking about the Grave Digger yes. uh, because we posted the Grave Digger. And this is the Grave Digger mask. Honey, how much is the Grave Digger? Just the mask. Honey, it's $150. He is $150, yes. It's like she, she thinks I'm quizzing her, but really I forgot. I, you are quizzing. Uh, so this is quizzing. the hat we also made out of EVA foam. You can't just get a top hat like that. Um, it's uh, then it's it's coated, so it's a nice durable hat. Impossibly um, tall. They, they immediately become super tall. Yeah. So I think I'm going to have Stan put on the full grave digger costume. Can I get a Stan? Fetch your Stan, please. Yeah, Just stand. holler, Leslie. Stand. Stand. It, stand. It's Grave Digger time. It's Grave, grave Digger time. Stand. And I'm going to get Stan suited up in the Grave Digger while Stacy talks about her um, headdresses that she has. Okay. So we're going to have to move some things in order to get the headdresses here. Tony, if you would actually take this inside, Stan needs that. I'm going to go and help him get dressed. Um, this is something that I'm... Watch, watch, stop, Tony. There's a dog under it. So you're about to run over the dog's head. Yeah, there you go. She don't care. I have to keep my pets alive. That goes in the other room with you. I'm going to help you get dressed over there. And then we're going to come over here. Right about the time that Stacy is wrapping up, we'll show off the full Grave Digger costume. 
Can I help yes. you with the puppies? Um, I think I can help get around the puppies. You can help me take some videos of the puppies. I haven't taken vid people don't did they, they didn't come here to see no puppies. This is what we're Look, trying to get. So by. now yeah, Stacy is trying to wheel her shelf uh, by the sleeping puppies. <laughs> They say let sleeping dogs lie, but I do not agree with that statement. In this case, we may have uh, these are costumes that we are selling at Trans World. Yes, that is that is what we're doing. She's so, like, no, no, mom. There's one. Is there someone? Yeah. There's two. Okay, they don't want to disturb the dogs. Oh, Daddy. Here we go. Here we go. You're about to run over foot. There we go. And. Here we go. Okay. We got a puppy. We this got is. Can puppies. you tell we are just rock solid organized? We got, we got it. Puppies are not for sale. Uh, we got it. I can't tell you how often I talk Great about. Job, I mention my three puppies. People are like, oh, how long are you keeping them? I'm like, how long are you keeping Forever. your kids? Until and until and until we're done with them, which and is and when when we die, because they're our puppies. We got them because we wanted dogs, not because it was a, a fun thing to do. Okay. okay. Yeah, I think job, it is. Guys. And Stacey. bring them, bring them close. You know how to do yes. this, right? Yes. Okay. Hi. I'm gonna find my beverage. Do that thing. So, um, anybody who was at MHC last year saw, I guess, an early iteration of these, but uh, these are the new and improved haunted headdresses. Um, they're all built on EVA foam bases. They're all really lightweight. This means nothing to you because you're just watching it on video, but, <laughs> but they're very lightweight. Um, not all of them, but a lot of them have, uh, uh, oh, there, there we nice. go. So you can Thank kind of you. see the um, light up aspects of them. Um, all, they run off of a single nine volt uh, that's elastic in the back of a lot of these. Um, a couple of new styles in. Um, yeah, our classic nice. ones are the Voodoo, which is so a little tall for the shelves. <laughs> so we got the Voodoo doll on it? Yeah, yes. we've got the Voodoo doll, um, the real chicken foot, um, your candle with Loa on it. Um, it's also light up. Some of our new ones are a little grander in scale. Uh, this is based off of Alan's Lilandra headdress for Dark Hour. Um, again, a little hard to see in the, uh, in the light, but it features little uh, backlight um, LEDs that, that shine. Some, some comments uh, here. Okay, lay it on the me. centerpiece on the red one. Dan Caro says, excellent. Uh, thank you, Scott Colehart, for posting the link for the headdresses. Uh, love these. They are stunningly creepy. Thank you. Um, speaking of creepy, let's see. Ooh, this is our... Did Madonna. The Madonna one. Yeah, yeah, I love her. This is the Madonna. Has a full lace train veil. And it's and a little hard to see on video, but it's got a hidden gem inside the the skull there um, this one also lights up um, and the <laughs> Yum. very uh, religious iconography now this has the full bead veil which um they would like a model yes i was gonna say come on in we have a yeah, lovely the stand. beautiful mrs yeah. burkhardt right, so, burkhardt who just mrs off. burkhardt just showed Probably. up to see what this is all about this and now is, now, let me show them a feature on this. So all of these are strapped with elastic What's in the that back. Called? Uh, this one is the Madonna, Madonna's Veil. I can't remember. There are very creative names for these on the website that I definitely wrote down somewhere. Um, but, but they all have adjustable elastic in the back, so you make it fit your head. Try this on and see if it's a little stretchy. There you go. There you go. So it does cover the eyes a little, but, but I can see. Yeah, and not enough to obscure your vision, which is nice. The thing about a bead veil. This is the veiled Madonna. And as you know, you can tell it's, it's super lightweight. Again, this is an EVA foam base. Uh, the thing on there is the the candles. Can y'all see it? Okay. There you go. <laughs> okay. 
Where's Leslie? I need I'm Leslie not, in the YouTube. I'm not Vanna. <laughs> All right. She's doing an excellent job. Like, Thank you. On Sydney's website. Thank you. And it is not heavy on your head. <laughs> I can vouch. That is the Veil of Madonna. It's oh beautiful. my God, these are Thank stunning. Thank you. Beautiful, beautiful. You are amazing. Thank you, Jan. Sure. <laughs> Thank you. Came to show up and hang out and put her to work. Put her to work. Put oh, to Leslie, work. I think you need to wear the stag. Said beautiful. Ooh, Leslie, this one's my favorite. So let me, sh let me show her off real quick. Get those moons in there so they can see all of that good pagany goodness. <laughs> this definitely says, I'm going to take you home and sacrifice you. Hey. <laughs> I'm all for okay. it. Okay. No. <laughs> <laughs> Tony's so proud. <laughs> oh my goodness! They're so light compared to what you would think. Yeah, I tighten her up. Oh, it's good. Okay. Can good. you get up closer, Leslie, so they can see the detail? Now this one doesn't light up, but it, it's as you can see in the light in there, it is really sparkly. It's got a lot of uh, really reflective elements. And again, there's a lot of room for adjustability in these. Uh, so it'll fit a variety of hairs uh, on there. You can move your head, it doesn't fall off. Mm -hmm. See the, the, uh, the horns on this are also made out of super lightweight foam. Um, and they are really, really on there. <laughs> They're not going anywhere. And the tips are... Oops. See, yeah. she whacked the hell out of it. Yeah, good uh, job. Yeah, demonstrating that... Uh, they're, and also tipped in, in little silver metal filigree bits. This is perfect for your 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 pagan Beltane celebration. <laughs> I love this. I love the way it feels. Thank you. Beautiful. Good job, yeah. Leslie. Nice. Woo. Nice, Leslie. Good job. My fans. I'm my fans. next. <laughs> <laughs> Ivan, we gotta get you in the, the the one with the wig. Oh my god. <laughs> Wouldn't be the first time. All right, now this one is a really special one. Come on, Ivan. Jump here. Come on, Ivan. Uh -huh. All right, we're gonna unleash it. This one's full of potential here. So it's. It's contained in a hairnet currently for ease of wrangling to and fro. This one does have a full wig. And again, EVA foam. The horns are also super light, weigh almost nothing. And this is tightened down pretty tight because it's on the foam head. Let's go ahead and loosen that. We need to turn the lights out on that one. Just too. estimating for the size of your noggin. Just noggin. Big. Yeah. Very big. <laughs> <laughs> It just, they're basically bra straps. Um, they've never been on a bra, they're bought brand new. <laughs> In case you're worried about road boob sweat. <laughs> no. Alright. Pick a mean <laughs> You're a little sweaty, that's okay. Ooh, never tangled. Da -da -da, there we go. <laughs> you're beautiful. There we go. <laughs> You've missed your calling. Oh my goodness. This is it. There you go. Well, there you go. It goes for the chops. Ivan. It really does. Ivan. What I do is step out for 10 minutes. Now you're a Viking Here, queen. Get on and up close to it. These actually feature a raven skull from Hexessories. Woohoo! Um, which is my faves. Aww. And uh, it's got full wig. It also has a couple of insert hair pieces. It's got wrapped hair around there. Again, full LED light up. Any hair you see on it, um, it definitely does not, not belong Ivan's. to Ivan. Yeah. yeah, it doesn't belong to Ivan. So that's all. Dan you know. Caro says, yes, around. print screen button. Don't fail me now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's got a little lift up piece of lace here in the back so you can access to change the battery. Um, Nine volt battery with three LEDs will last you practically forever if you unplug it in between uses. Um, it's got chain option on the um, the horns here, so you can either wrap it or let it hang loose. Either way, it's easy to adjust. Na -na. Do you have Keep a, a link to accessory stuff? Uh, it should be on It'll the be on our website. website. We're adding those things. But I believe all of these are currently live on the Stilt Beast Yes, website. all the finished headdresses are live. Yes. So there you, you go. You can take it off now, Ivan. <laughs> yeah. <Can he>? <laughs> so Ivan, what is best in life? Uh, <laughs> obviously, that it's was to crush your enemies. <laughs> See them driven before you and hear the lamentation oh, of the women. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so. So one of the one of the reasons why we do these and you know a lot of things is um, you really want to. Can even come here and Girl, yeah. Right, so. <laughs> this is oh. girls just have better faces than guys do, you know? And <laughs> Wait a minute. Women are like 
trained in makeup. So that they can do their makeup better than guys can, like base level. Yeah, there's great guys who can do makeup, absolutely. But base level, women put on some degree of makeup, many of them almost every day. Um, what this oh, does is, what this does is these allow them to do their own makeup, but frame them in a way for your home. These are awesome for icon characters. They're awesome for photo shoots. Even if you don't have a haunted house and you're just a photographer, you know, um, these are great at framing the face and making certain things pop. Are these one of a kind? These are all one of a kind, although or almost everything here is, I can, I can make a... Are multiples available? Um, everything here is one of a kind. However, if there's one in particular that you'd like and it's already sold out, let me know because I have almost you know the exact same things. Like, we can we can recreate we can something recreate like some it. Like this. Did you do the vampire one already? The, that one. No. This one. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. Did you show that. One? I did show that one. So this one, I'm gonna take it down again. Sure. All right. So this one, um, we we used one very similar to this at Dark Hour for our vampire show we had in October, and what was really nice was again all this was covered. There's the veil over the face. This is very interesting. It's beautiful. It makes a nice frame. And then just the lips and teeth showed down here. So the makeup, as a makeup artist, is super easy. We just paled out the skin that was showing. And bright red lipstick and nice vampire teeth. And what a wonderful icon character this made. Lots of uh, eye candy. Very, very, very attractive. So yes, Stacy, you can make more of these? Absolutely. Yes. I'll I'm going to answer for her. Yes, absolutely. Show one of the ice ones. Can we turn the light off for that? Do you have it lit? Sure. Here we go. <laughs> Good job. Awesome. Turn them on. Now, um, the, uh, the piped on icicles here are pretty firm. They hold up really well. Um, and again, all super lightweight. I'm going to butt in again. Okay? Sure, butt yeah. in. So, in a haunt setting, one of the things I love about these, with if you have a character like a stoplight role who's talking some, um, in one of these is really awesome because it's hard to do that simply because you you have to impart information, you have to stop and talk to them, and you have to get a little bit of a scare. What's really cool about these guys is they're lit up, so if you're just standing still, they think you're part of the set because you have you know lights that are active, and then when you move. You know, that that's your scare right off of the intro, and then you can start talking and calm them down and do what you got to do. We did a really cool photo shoot with these with Robert Alcala at um, Dark Hour. Actually, the pictures of it are on the teaser that we took for the haunted headdresses. Mm -hmm. And uh, while we were doing that, um, the, the Voodoo one, actually, we were getting some, some shots, and, you know, it with lights off in Dark Hour, it is very, very dark, and it was intensely creepy seeing, we had it on Eli, yeah. um, him walking out of the darkness with it total darkness and then you see, the very first thing you see is the candles. So it's this flickering light that is moving towards you and then slowly as he came up into the light we had there, he sort of emerged whole with this with this headdress on and he had a, like a voodoo outfit on. It was very cool and um, it was a neat effect. So, yeah. you know, you make what you like. And I like super extra um, light up things in a show. Beautiful. So yeah. Um, questions? Anybody want to they, see them? They, they love them, and they are uh, they are very interested in uh, the lighting of them, and showing that we put that on there. They're on the website, and yes, you can get more. Yes, absolutely. Uh, and if you have a specific theme that you are looking for, absolutely, that something of some custom order. Uh, on every entry, Stacy's email is on there. You can reach her through us. You can reach her through that email, mm -hmm. and. Support your artists. This is some beautiful, one-of-a-kind, handmade work. It's, it, they're, they're a focal point. Whether it's a focal point for a character or a focal point for a show. You know, because if you have a show that you want, you know, these can help tell a story. You know, it doesn't have to necessarily be this piece here. What could be here could be something that's more specific and more important to your haunted house. Through accessories and through sculpting and molding, we can make any you know little resin accessory we like to put on there that might help you tell your story at your okay. show. Yeah, that's the nice thing I really enjoy about working with with the crew here is that we have everything we can 
we can work together with. So like being able to pull accessories pieces, the request to show the bat one. This Turn is, the lights off and show the okay. bat piece. We didn't show the bat? We did not show the bat. The bat. You're ripping them off. <laughs> <laughs> they deserve bat. So it's an antique bat skull. Um, and again, he's on a, they're on a um, skull cap there. Now I've seen people purchase these in the past, wear them either with the veils down or with the veils tucked up um, or pulled to the side. Either way, they look really cool. Um, I like the, the veil down from a haunting perspective, just because it's neat if you're doing a Q-line character or something like that, it's neat to be able to, to look at people who don't know that you're looking at them <laughs> um, and, until you, uh, you know, you can let them know that you, you've noticed they're looking and that's, that's it, it freaks people out. Which is they nice. Say it's wicked, beautiful work, and they love it. Thank you. It's, well, my my goal classy. is to have it's a little original. bit of everything. If you already have an existing character that doesn't have a super grand headdress for it, but I also have seen people buy these to build a character around. They're they're a big focal point, um, and especially the veiled ones. It really draws the eye away from the face and up into the into the head, and it is a little unsettling for people not to be able to see your eyes. And you had a character, you had a, a customer who bought one for the Haunted Mansion. At yes, Disney. yes. Um, Alexis Tipton, uh, she's a uh, an anime voice actress. She is very incredible. And she got the chance to go to the 50th anniversary of the Haunted Mansion, like big lock-in event they did at Disney. Um, and so this was, um, she bought one that was similar to, to this one. And yeah, Elbert is a fair shape. Um, and wore it to the to the event. I got some really great photos up on my Instagram uh, to uh, kind of access or accentuate her, her costume that she wore to Disney. It was super cool to see. So there we go. Good job. Great job, Stacy. Yeah. Yeah. How much are are they basically? Uh, they range from 135 for the crowns that are not the full headpiece. Uh, to 200 for the super extra. So in their mask range. Yeah, their it's mask about range. the same as, as, the same as, as a nice mask. mask. Yep. Not like a silicone mask, which is a, you know. That's a whole different mask. That's on the other end of that spectrum. But uh, if yeah. you want something that fancy in silicone mask price territory, you hit me up. <laughs> I will 100% make you one of those. But again, as from an acting perspective, you can see, you can breathe, it's comfortable. <laughs> there's, there's, there's still enough room left for makeup artists to do their work. Mm -hmm. um, or you know you have an actress who can do their own makeup. Um, it, it, it's a good solution for haunts in some ways. I also include with these two um, little wig clips that you can put in wherever you would like. Um, they're just little sewing do jobbies. But if you have like a a, a a farther back hairline, like I've got a five head, um, I wouldn't want to put them up top there. But you can put them in a little back if you want just a little extra support. However. They are, they're really secure. It, it covers the whole back of the head. It's adjustable with elastic. You can tighten them down pretty tight and they don't wiggle. Fancy. Fancy. Great Great job. Job. Okay, so let's, uh, let's wheel them by and then I'll, I'll bring the uh, grave digger Watch out. Watch out for puppies. Alex, you should video this, how they're trying to get this. Well, <laughs> this is what we're having to work around here. here there go. are three 50 pound who decided right here is the place to sleep. Um, yeah. Because they're in the middle. So now we're going to wheel this cart uh, around yeah, them. I guess. You want me yeah. to, uh, I mean, if that's where it's going back. Yeah, here. Um, yeah that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> you know what? Let's make this easier on ourselves. Put it right here against the wall. Okay. Can you do that? Put it right here against the wall. Great. Yeah. Sometimes my, it's not a lack of organization, it is a willingness to improvise. <laughs> Sometimes my willingness to improvise freaks people out. Like, I didn't have a set list or anything like that for the video tonight, but I, I knew what I wanted to do and I knew what we had to accomplish. Um, and it's raining, so we're going to yeah. <laughs> So this can now just go out somewhere. Oh, uh, right there's good. There's fine. Is, is the grave digger around? Grave digger's ready. All right. Mm -hmm. Grave digger. Let's pull him back. Grave digger, stop flirting. And one of the things that I wanted to do was I wanted to make black and white characters in this modern, colorful world. Uh, so this is just the grave digger for now. Come on over here. And this is full costume. Go ahead and turn. This is 
The hat makes it imposing. Um, what comes with the costume, all right? Spats, can you turn your foot that way? See the button, the buttony spats? Buttony spats. The spats come with the costume. The coat comes with the costume. Um, the coat comes with the costume. Okay. I'm trying to make sure we're the right. I've zoomed in and now I cannot unzoom. Maybe I did unzoom. No. No. There you go. Ha, I did it. I fixed. Okay. Uh, so this is Stan in the uh, Grave Digger costume. Take your, show your hands face like, like this. He has on gray gloves, okay? They're gray lycra gloves so that when we take the time and put um, eye makeup on, this character is straight up black and white. There's nothing on him of color that's really showing. Uh, you want to walk a little closer to the camera, they can see your face and such. Even swaggering. He is so he's yeah. <laughs> So, but the jacket comes with it, the shirt underneath comes with it, the spats. We're not doing shoes and pants because then there's all kinds of weird sizes. It's black pants and black shoes, guys. It's all you need. Um, and I'm not going to mail you a shovel because that would be ridiculous. So get him a nice shovel that he can dunk on the ground. And this is the grave digger from our black and white line. Um, uh, spin around for him so they can see the back of the head. The mask is haired. So he has, you know, hair. He can take, he can work without his hat. But the hat just makes him stupid imposing. And uh, just like, imagine him at the end of a hallway or something. What a nice character to... Uh, Freak people out. So that's that's the grave digger. How tall are you? You see six one, like with the hat, he's gotta be, you know, seven. I mean it's it's a ridiculous hat. But uh and you can't find it like that, so we make it. If you guys want to order just hats, we can do those that style of hat too for any type of character. Um the mask works all by itself, the hat works all by itself, the this, there is a jabot collar that is separate from the mask. Let's go ahead and take parts of it off and break it down for folks. So there's the hat. EVA foam hat. It's 5 millimeter EVA. And I'm going to put it here. Um, and then the jabot collar just Velcros on. You can see that has nice cruffles. Cruffles with a uh, skull on it also. And then, yeah. The, this sets of gloves kind of changes his class a little bit. Um, and we can do it in different sizes, obviously. So, again, just, just nice spandex gloves. We went through and we just uh, inked out, you know, just the knuckle lines and the, the fingers and things. Thank you. Very handsome. Da -da -da. Yeah, and then go ahead and pop your pop your mask off. It's just a sock mask, so it's a it's a pretty comfortable mask. It's lightweight. It's not a full latex head. Um, you've got. Will the whole thing be on your site? Sock back. Yes, the whole costume will be on the site tomorrow morning. Yes, and it looks a little bit like Angus Scrim with this hairstyle, <laughs> which I didn't even realize before. So. And, honey, no. do you have a price for the Grave Digger, all of him? No. Nope. I think he's three fifty. Great. Everything is three fifty. Mask is one fifty, and then three fifty. Spats, coat, shirt, gloves, all that. We want to make sure we get some pictures Full of costume. you tonight, so I'm going to put these on the website in the morning. So. So take your things and get out. <laughs> Grab some shots of you. Right I just like here. yelling at people. That's that's uh, my job here. You just that was beautiful. So, so man. Yeah, so it'll be on the website. Yes, it, it's coming to a website near you, stiltbestudios.com. All right, let me. Are you next on here? Do you need an assistant last um, I'm looking. Um, you know, what? let's do Harry and Scary, and let them know I want to prep a pop. Tony, will you tell them I want to prep, prep Apocalypse? Yes. I have to bring the Harry and Scary stuff out. 
and uh, I need I need a buddy, but uh, I can do this. Just yeah. wait here. Tell you what, come here. I do need help. Okay. Stand right here behind the camera. You're not going to go on camera. Okay. And tell a story. I have no story. Okay. You you got to figure out a story. This this is Stan's wife who doesn't even like haunt with us. But uh, do you have a haunted house story? Uh, did you go to Dark Hour? I did. I went to Dark Hour for uh, dog, dog Days of the, the one in June. Yeah, Dog yes. Days of Summer, Werewolf Show. So I, I don't like being scared, but I wanted to support my husband. So I went, and I went with my mom and her boyfriend. And they said I was more entertaining than the haunted house. Because I freak, not because the hall was not bad. because the hall was bad, but because I freak out at anything that says boo, and I have not been able to go back since because I came out sweating and in the that fetal in the fetal position. <laughs> I left. It's an awesome haunt. I'm getting in your pockets. Yeah. So here we go. And that, thank you, thank You're you welcome. for that for I that hope, great that interlude nice. of entertainment. I really appreciate it. So, this is something that I was very excited to bring to people at Transworld. Um, I, you can probably tell that I organized the, my booth in sections. And this was a whole new section. Every, every new product gets, a, gets its own shelf. Um, I'm so confident and thrilled for this product. It has two shelves. Um, and, uh, well, I'll just I'll show it. Because it's it's so different from what you might think. This is a whole suit, okay? It's a whole suit with look at this long hair on this suit. Isn't that exciting? Tony, there's one more of these with the latex chest in it in the color wolfman box in the shop. Um so we have a latex chest we can put in, or we can do straight full hair. Now, shirt, which in the back, um, zippers are tough on hair, and Velcro is tough on hair, so it buttons. This this has buttons down the back to uh, to keep it closed. All right, that's this. Look at how long that hair is. And why this is exciting, like why, um, I've been, I mentioned I'm kind of a werewolf guy, I love werewolves, I'm known for being a wolf man all the time, I love it. Uh, why this is exciting is the comfort level of this suit, you can just set it right there, is unmatched because of how it's made and the, uh, how it's made, and this is easier to do if both hands were focused on the same task. How it's made makes it more comfortable. Fun fur is what most hairy costumes are made out of. It's fabric woven with hair on one side of it. It is very hot because it does not breathe at all. This is made differently. This is These are made... <clears throat> the same hair that I put on masks is sewn on this in strips. And this fabric that it is sewn to is breathable. I can kind of, if I work, I can lift it up and you can see a little bit of that fabric inside of there. I mean, at the show, I was going to have a fan on the shelf and put a fan inside of the shirt and you can see the hair blow and you can see the air moving through the fabric. It's ridiculous that these are as comfortable as they are. They should be, they look so much uh, warmer than they actually are. They're, they're completely wearable all night. Uh, and I'm in Texas, you know. We also made the, can you grab me a pair of claw gloves out of, ask Rue, he'll show where the claw gloves are. Um, the sleeves are made longer so that we can put a thumb hole in the sleeve. And then your claw glove, just, uh, you know, your claws stick out and your your hand is covered without having because a lot of times you have hair on your glove and then hair in your costume and there's an overlap or there's not enough overlap this way the thumb holds the sleeve in place all the time no matter what you do 
Look at that movement. Oh. Yeah. So I said I was going to talk about the gloves uh, with Harry and Scary. Let me throw this guy back onto a hanger. Okay. I'll put him over here. That's what I'll do. But and and this doesn't weigh a lot. I mean, this is this is so exciting. It's, it's very exciting. If you wear hair a lot in haunted houses, that's very exciting. What was it? Gloves. I had them. Question, can you ship to Scotland? The answer is yes, but we will have to find out first how much it will cost, and then we will have to PayPal it to you. We've got to find actual shipping, and then we'll charge actual shipping. And we'll ship it, at, then, so you'll get an invoice for the items, and then you'll get an invoice for the shipping. You said the mask was 150 Does that include the hat? Yes. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. Yes. So, here we go. This is a one of the claw gloves that come with most of the hairy and scary costumes. Now, there's masks, there's costumes. We can do any of it separate. Um, but these gloves, it's a it's a leather palm glove. It's a very durable glove. Uh, I've been making this style of claw glove for about four years now, and. This year, I finally found like the perfect gloves for them. It's almost like a mechanics glove, but it's got a nice, it's an actual suede palm. Um, they're comfortable. The back's more breathable than the suede. They have a Velcro closure here. And when you put on with the hairy and scary suit, this goes through the thumb hole. And then the, the hair hides here. And then you have, you know, just a nice clawed hand. Anyway, so let's talk about these suits a little bit. Um, the suits have a shirt and pants that come with them. Shirt and pants. Yes? Do you need a model? Um, Rue? Should I, will we get Rue? If someone's available. I'll, I'll throw them on. <laughs> I'll throw them on. Here, take this and just have somebody hop into this. Okay. Right, then let's put, we'll put Jana in one real quick. She's right here. We'll no, no, they're, they're coming. I got talking to do. Okay, good. All right, so. It comes in a lot of different colors. I don't have up here red. Uh, and red, I have an Asian demon mask, and then I don't have one here right now, but it's long red hair and horns, right and it here. looks... Uh, yeah, but that's not a horn one. That's, that's, oh, not okay. as, that's not like a full red Asian demon. Um, I saw someone ask just for the claw gloves, 50 bucks. And then with hair on them, 75 because I do have a hair gauntlet style where there's hair on the back of the hand and it goes down to here, and those are 75. The Just the claw gloves like that, those are 50 for just the gloves. Um, let's talk hairy and scary. We pair these guys. So yes, I have just the suits. I have them in a lot of colors. Colors. How much for the claw gloves? Here's the red I was talking about, 50 bucks. 75 yes. if they have hair on them because I wanted the gloves with hair to go with werewolves from the werewolf shelf. So that's an option that I have too. You can do a werewolf mask and claws. That's from Warren. Look at that beautiful red hair suit. Oh, it's so exciting. Oh, isn't that nice? Long hair. You don't get hair with this pile length from Fun Fur. Most Fun Fur, you're going to get a three and a half inch pile length. You have Fun fur, three and a half inch pile length, shag that you buy from Monterey Mills. Well, you don't buy it from them, you buy it from someone else who bought it from them. They're the manufacturer. Um, and then you have NFT, National Fiber Technologies, where a square foot of hair is $45. They do the Grinch movie, anything hairy they, for the movies is National Fiber Technologies. This is, we're the only ones in the middle. We're the only ones in the middle in between those two. So, this guy here, are you ready? $180. Shirt and pants. Um, ridiculous. Ridiculous, ridiculous. So, we have a green one that goes with the green gloves. I have green long finger gloves, and that goes with the Grouch. This is the Grouch. This is like a monstrous version of the Grinch. 
a monstrous version of the Grinch right here. Again, it's full head. So we have full costumes. We're talking full costumes for, um, I think they're four, they're either 450 or they're 400. I'm going to say 450 to be safe, but a full monster costume normally, and I'm not knocking anybody because what we do is actually difficult in order to do it right and well, but normally just distressed clothing, that costume is going to run you 350, 450 for a full costume. And it's like a hillbilly costume. What, what the heck? But or, you know, something like a clown, which is kind of on the easier end of things to do. A hairy monster costume, full for 450, ridiculous, ridiculous cheap. Uh, with gloves, mask, and now, you know, this is the grouch we have, full costume. That's that's available. That's an option. You can get just the hair suit. Just the hair suits are 180. Uh, these masks are, are they 150, 125, something? They're, they're, they're in that range. Um, your, uh, your Yeti and your Grouch are 125 for the mask only. Right. Yeah. So I think that puts the, the suits at right about 400 for everything. Because the gloves are in there too and all that. But here's your Yeti. Here's your Yeti. Full fur. Stand. Come on, on over. Good job, work Stan. it, work yes. it. I'm gonna back up the camera a bit because you want to see all of it. You know, a Krampus costume just got cheaper and way cooler. Move around a bit, Stan, just so they can see. This is a two-tone suit with which is a uh, like a brown and blonde, and I can do any of the masks we have to match up with whatever color fur suit that you want. So, and I should call it a hair suit because it's not a fur suit, it's a hair suit. Um, one thing that's really important, uh, forgive me, I'm gonna be near your nethers, is that most, even like fur costume shirts, they cut off in a straight line right here. Not these guys, it's tapered. It's tapered down to right there just so it moves more like an animal would be. So this shirt hangs down, and it's higher on the sides than it is in the front and the back. Hairiest bald guy I ever that's, saw. That's for, you know, that's, that's for movement, and that's for look. That's when you back up a little bit more. When he backs up, it looks like it's all one thing, because you don't have that hard line of here's where the hair stops. And you only have a three-inch pot, three-and-a-half length in most hair costumes to make up for that. Um, so we have a dark brown. We also have the option... This is exciting. Uh, show them. Chest. Oh. It's a latex chest. Latex chest in. Latex chest in the fursuit. So this is an option also that we can do for any of the suits. Um, and I think this puts the ones that have a latex chest there are fifty bucks more. So that's I think where I have those two prices in my head. Um, what's that? We put the thumb holes. For oh yeah, gloves. and there's thumb holes in them for gloves so that. This one is set up for that. Yeah, I believe. Yeah. Um, Can you show a close up of them? On the sides, on the full suits only. When it's a full suit, you have lacing on the side so you can tighten up a little bit and it's more adjustable. If it's just the suit, you don't have that lacing in the sides because they're $180. But, yeah, anyway, isn't that, isn't that exciting? To me, that's very exciting. I've been a Wolfman for a long time. I didn't have these kind of options, not at that kind of a budget. Um, we also, so we have full costumes, Stan. Would you do me a favor? Put on the troll. And go put on the troll. <laughs> go put on the troll. It's exciting. Thanks, it's exciting. Good job, it doesn't Stan. doesn't come with feet. Good job, Stan. <laughs> Um, I feel that most feet in haunts and haunt costumes are tripping hazards. They do help make the costume look a little more complete. If you put it in, um, if you put it in the show, you you don't need feet. Where do you need feet? You need feet to sell it on the show floor at Trans World. Um, but anyway, uh, I digress. So Master One Twenty Five. 
We also have a gorilla option with a black suit. This is this is an exciting time for uh, hairy monsters. I'm not going to lie. Like this is, you know, maybe you wanted to fill your show with some kind of a hairy creature. Now is the time, my friend. Now is the time. Okay, hold, hold on. We're not to you yet. You're jumping the gun. But you look pretty ridiculous. Turn around. Let's get back. I think you're good. What I, what I, do me a favor. Put his belt inside of his coat for me. Thank you. Did I miss the Gilman back piece? No. Uh, no, you haven't missed the Gilman back piece because I haven't finished painting it yet. <laughs> Remember, I said I was going to have a few surprises. You just ruined it. Oh. You just told everyone you ruined Christmas. It's canceled. Oh. I'm just okay. kidding. Everything else has been canceled so far. Christmas is still on. Um, we'll we'll get to the Gilman stuff. But anyway, um, so yeah, we have we have gorillas. You know, let me grab a, a gorilla head here. Do you need a model? Uh, not, not, I, don't, I don't think so right now for this, per se. We have Gorilla. Nice, long hair, blends right in with the suit. We have... This is, this is very exciting for Mr. Hops. Look at this silver. Oh, gosh. It's so crazy. Now, these have been, you know, I, 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 this werewolf needs some fluffing. Because he's been, you know, boxed up. But ready for. Oh, it's so exciting to have this long of hair on stuff. Still a back door on that one. Yeah, yeah. Well, I could do. You could do uh, same the same mask, and with the brown suit, the brown hair suit, same mask finished in brown is one heck of a Bigfoot costume. Big foot, just like that. Crazy. This is the gorilla mask. The gorilla mask is also the Yeti mask. The Yeti, I wanted to look a little more windswept. So he had a little bit longer hair on him. So that's the Yeti. It's David Blair. Yeah, he does have hair like David Blair. <laughs> yeah, he does David Blair, Blair has David beautiful Blair flowing hair like this. The most like, yeah, beautiful man. hair in I'm not jealous of most men. Of, uh, of pumpkin pulp, by the way, right in the floor. It is beautiful. Um, okay. And I showed the, the grouch. I didn't show you guys a troll, but I will because I have a whole troll coming in costume. And I want to show the drool. Yeah, he's Look at that beautiful drool. That's not your run of the mill hot glue drool. That is crystal clear, beautiful drool that is rigid. It's not, it's not your super flexible, clear silicone caulking. This is more, a much more rigid. It's, it's drool. It's lovely, lovely drool. Okay, so it's great that he's here. Can you guys start bringing in the rest of the eight pockets for that shelf? Yep, we, we already got them. We got a, uh, we have a so, troll coming. Yeah, troll's coming. Um, in this one also, I have... Pardon me. They like the silver and white color. Uh, they like very much the, the silver Yeti. I have a troll. They have a cave troll. Yeah. We have, it's not, it's a regular troll. Okay, so here you go. Look at that trollio. Full head mask, again, that's going to blend in with the, uh, with, the, with the black hair costume. What you need? Stands. Yeah, so, so mask. Do you need me to take that to stand? Uh, sure. Okay. Nope. Okay. Love the Bigfoot. Tell him to put a beanie in there. Okay. Uh, they're fine. Just set them on the shelf. I'm going to pick them up and show them anywhere. That's fine. They'll okay. figure it out. Masks are very smart. And ponchers are too. Uh, oh yeah. So yeah, the troll has gloves like this because they have different shaped hands than us. Yeah, but I need those. But I, I, don't, I don't have that all the way on, but anyway. All right, so I want to show you also, if you are doing a Krampus festival or you are doing um, 
anything like that, this is 100% the way to go as far as Krampus costumes go. Any color hair, we can also put on a Krampus. Now our Krampuses, again, this is where that 450 price point comes in because this has LEDs in the eyes. I'm about to plug them right now. I need both of my hands for this, I'm sorry. Troll costumes for Belle and the Beast. So, wife, would you hit the lights? Got it. Ready? Yeah. Can't tell me that's not a sexy, sexy Krampus. Okay, turn the lights back on. No scary. And, you know. There, that's that's your, your crop. Now you see underneath, there are sockets in the mask for those LEDs, so they don't bother your vision while you're wearing the mask. Um, and we can make a Krampus in any color to match the different costumes. Doesn't have to be that same mask mold. Um, these are some really fun horns on this set. Uh, obviously this one matches this suit. Now chest is an option, that would be an upgrade, but Krampuses normally don't have the chest, but they have LED eyes. And then, yeah, how, how close are we to trolling? Do we know? Uh, we have a question. Yes. Price for stilts with a costume. Okay. We're talking about stilt costumes, let's incorporate that because we have stilt in ground. Uh, in the color Wolfman box, bring me the stilt covers out of that. Anyway, yeah, so hairy and scary, very exciting. Um, stilt costumes, head to toe. He's actually interested in a stilt yeti. A stilt yeti. But on stilts, so when you're talking about stilt costumes. With stilts, 900. With stilts, 900 bucks. My wife's giving me a look. 900 bucks. Okay. Crazy Alan going out the door. Yeah, no, no, 900 bucks because um, the I had working out manufacturer pricing and all that. Thank you. I just need one. Put that one over there. So again, this is the same type of fur for that all the suits are made out of. This is the same. Oh, that's such a sexy troll. Thumb holes. Yeah, Fix I mean, your thumb holes. This is not the same suit. Yeah, I know. Well. Yeah. Um, Do you want me to put new ones in? Yeah, yeah, throw thumb holes on it. Because it's in a troll, it's for a troll. Okay. Troll. Oh, yeah. Oh, Rue. Let Stacy put in thumb holes. <laughs> a blowtorch blow is not necessary. This is put that away. So, <laughs> but anyway, the, tr the troll is coming. You turn the camera to this. Relax. Step yeah. away from the troll. So, I have, we have, we have a lot of suits here. That's and they just picked a suit <laughs> that wasn't part of full costume, oh, so it didn't goodness. have thumb holes right off the bat. I All right, but anyway, so stilt covers, these go over the, over the silt, and so these come from your knee <laughs> all the way down to the ground on the stilts. Uh, so these, if you want to stilt Bigfoot, you want to stilt Yeti, you want to stilt Werewolf, there's enough room down here for monster feet to show uh, that are attached to the stilts. And um, yeah, so very exciting. Just. I've been making I've been making and wearing fursuit stuff forever as for monsters for werewolves and things, and this is the most comfortable it's ever been, and frankly some of the best looking. You don't get long pile hair like this for a budget that I could afford my whole freaking life. All right. And then I have something. Watch puppy. I see the puppy. I have something quasi exciting also. Afterwards, what's that? Uh, well, time. yeah, I want to, yeah, let me start moving this out of the way because we're going to get a pot here next, but I think this can just go over here for now. I've done something a little crazy. <laughs> here, here comes the troll. 
Here comes the troll. You have to add thumb holes in such a way where it does not run or anything like that. Come on over. Troll, troll, troll. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. Get, get all the way over here. Turn around. Okay, so yeah, this is. Look at that. That's a that's a full monster costume for that's 400 bucks. That's ridiculous. Now he's hiding. This is this is not a time to hide. We got to sell. <laughs> hiding is for closers, okay? My yeah. So this is this is a, a troll. And all right, people some people might say what the heck trolls are green. What the heck? Uh, this is more of a Willow style troll. Willow is one of, it's in my top five movies, okay? Willow. Um, but, oh, that's a fun, exciting troll monster. I love it. That excites me. Not in that way, but I'm very excited. But anyway, yeah, troll. Troll. Yeah, so turn. He's a 360 troll. They're, you know, ties that you can tie together with, but you barely see them. Um, and it, it's, as far as a, a full hairy suit goes, you're covered. You just saw the gloves, and that's with the thumb pole in. You know, so here, here's the gloves, a three-finger glove. And hold your hands up again like you were doing. You don't... That's cool. you got to admit that looks cool. That's neat and scary, okay? So, anyway. All right. Um, thanks, troll. So... For the past couple years, I have done a line of Apocalypse masks. I actually think that Apocalypse, as a theme, is going to drop off a little bit because it's going to be pretty close to home. Um, there, there's a lot of apocalyptic talk right now. One of the things that I have done, uh, let's build the shelf over here first. And I'm going to tell you, this is an Allen secret. Um, we went live at 6 p.m. Uh, I decided to do this with my apocalypse line at about 2 p.m. <laughs> go ahead and go 90. If you look, all right, if you look, we have changed up the apocalypse line to be much more of a containment, medical, SWAT, apocalypse look. Here is why. Let me grab a couple of these. Now this is similar to a lot of things that we do. Everyone is a little bit different. If you order them, we will change things up a little bit. Um, but look at that. This is medical apocalypse like containment shock troops who are keeping uh and this is a color scheme that you just don't see normally in haunted houses and why i have these right now i don't know if these are going to catch on but these are all going to be on the website individually tomorrow here's what i wanted I wanted haunted houses to be able to make content for their social media that was timely. This character is timely. Now, when you want to do a fun coronavirus post, because that's our job. Our job is to keep it light. You know, we're not an information service. We're not going to pass on CDC guidelines. No, we're going to take some pictures in our show that show how we're dealing with the coronavirus as haunted houses. We're gonna take, uh, and this is, I made these guys to be able to do social media posts so that you can get one of these and then in your set, in your show, however you want, make a character or something uh, because who doesn't have, you know, magic gear that looks like it's ready to deal with the virus that's coming at hand. I just feel cooler when I wear a helmet like that. <laughs> oh, you're so cool. Like that, oh, that's yeah. that's ridiculous, yeah. you know. Yeah. But this is this is it's it hits medical, it hits scary, 
It's intimidating, but it's also very timely right now. It's not your standard haunt surgeon. This is a way to make uh, some social media content. But also look at that color scheme. Look at the color scheme. Again, these are all individual. These are all EVA. None of these masks exist, existed in any part um, yesterday at, uh, let's say, noon. I think I got started on these at noon. Um, I want to be honest with you. I felt really kicked in the teeth when transport was postponed. Um, and I took a day off, a day and a half. That may not seem crazy to you guys. It's crazy. But to me, that is a huge downward spiral of depression where I just take a day and a half off. Um, and it's no one's fault. It, it happened. Let's move on. And let's do things, let's make things that either help us deal with it or help us express our frustration or show people um, what our side of things. All of these, right, this is, this is your standard apocalypse mask, okay? Again, they're all different, all right? I sell these in... Uh, eight packs, I'll sell, we'll have eight packs, four packs, and we will have uh, individuals on the website tomorrow. You don't order, I want that apocalypse mask and that apocalypse, if you get an eight pack, you get eight. One of them is going to have a skull face, and one of them is going to have a helmet, and the others are going to be different. They're going to be cool, but they're going to be different. Now, this is your normal apocalypse. This is a normal apocalypse mask. It's rusty. It's neat. Um, and they're all super lightweight because they're mostly EVA foam. They're EVA foam, they're resin parts. Uh, this has a flip up -y. Flip up. So if you have contacts or whatever. Um, Bullet Mohawk. These are very Mad Max. They're diesel punk. Uh, sometimes they're Star Wars. <laughs> Stacy has like a Star Wars design streak when she designs things. Oh. I'm like, that looks like it came out of Star Wars. Listen, um, I'm not the ride single file, all you. But the big, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, the big, the, the big thing right now is these guys who look medical, and they're like a medical SWAT response unit from the future, who are here to kick metal butt. Okay. Um, and it is a it's a color it's scheme. Yeah. We, we we decided while making them that they're you know they just want to yell sanitize sanitize. <laughs> uh, get up close to the camera with one of those emblems because I think it's fascinating that those are like a three. That's not painted on. That's a yeah. This isn't painted on. This is okay. these are three D pieces. Um, one of the things I'm very proud of is is how we can do things quickly. We made the decision. To to make these masks this way at about 2 p.m. today. Um, yeah, the rusty ones, absolutely. And any of these can be finished that rusty way. Can we see the metal helmet? Oh, you want to see this one. No, you can't see that one. Um, show me the helmet. What the hell are we doing here? You want me to show them the helmet? <laughs> I should show you the helmet. Okay. All right. So, uh, so this one, um, the way it works is when you make EVA, we seal it, and we seal it with Flex Seal. I'm not a secret keeper. You can make your own. Um, we uh, we'll get there. want the trap Yeah. We seal it, and we seal it with black because I like to dry brush most of the time. And it, uh, I like that look. When, I, when this one was all black, I did not have the heart to make it any other color. So this one stayed black because I just like the look. So we will now offer Apocalypse Mask in three, three finishes. <laughs> in three finishes. Rust, a medical, and... Um, Shock Trooper Black, I guess. So, yeah. Did they want to see the top, the middle? Oh, yeah, okay. So, sometimes 
I work with people who are smarter than me. And Rue, this was Rue's idea. Uh, he wanted to do one. He's like, but I really like to wear contacts. So Rue made one where your eyes show, you know, so you're, you're using your eyes in it. I need to put a little pad in this one for me. But where your eyes show, I can speak, you can see me, but I still fit with the team. I still look cool. I still look like them, but a little more of my face exposed. So that's the story of this guy. Um, and I'll tell you what, when we do eight packs, <laughs> that was weird. When we do eight packs, when we do eight packs of apocalypse masks, what um, what I'll do is we'll do an open face, where that's an option, and then we will do an open face and a skull and a, and a helmet in a pack. Um, if you wanted them all to have helmets, that would cost a little more. But we custom is kind of what we do. We came up with this at 2 p.m. Um, along with that, we also came up with this at 2 p.m. Come on over here, Rob. Do move this? this really didn't exist before. So this is um, this is Rob. I would I, I wouldn't mind having a little some shoulder pads on Rob. So this is our apocalypse costume that we do. That you know, it has the jumper underneath. It has the coat. Um, he has an APOC mask on. The coat has the caduceus, caduceus, yeah, caduceus ca the doctor symbol on it. And he has it on the lapel and spin around. He has it on the back. Um, I wouldn't mind doing an arm candy for him that is themed in with this. So he's got one arm candy arm. Dr. Corona. Dr. Corona. Did someone suggest that? They did. I see. Well, don't forget the boots. How about let's do Dr. COVID? Uh, kick that one around. That's all right. Dr. COVID. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. Either boots. Way, He's got the apocalypse boots with the stilt cover that all blends in. Um, again, Rob is not a big shouldered guy, so this looks, this is big on him. But uh, it's cut to a 2X. Yeah. Right. He's a 2X, and I'm. Rob, Rob is not a 2X. However, giant syringe. However. Candy or the bone saw they want on there. Yes, absolutely. And this full costume, 1200, uh, we'll, we'll have an arm candy with it. That's what we'll do. So, and I, I, there's a little piece of shoulder. Again, we only thought of this at 2 o'clock. Like, this this coat did not exist. Stacy speed sewed through this coat. Because this is our apocalypse Stacey. coat. Um, the boots we kind of had started, but uh, they were just a demo for the, for the shelf. So... Um, his suit, it, it'll look a little more finished and tighter than this, but I, the more we did this as the afternoon went on, thank you, sir. I, I you want to, you want to mug? Okay. You can, you can mug for the, mug for the camera. Okay. Great job, Rob. Um, he syringes across the knuckles. Yeah, I was thinking like a bandolier. Okay, so that yeah. costume isn't like 100% finished, but I wanted to show we you guys. We have medical weapon doing. arm candy coming. Yeah, um, that's one of the things with arm candy. But as the day progressed, current crisis or not, look at the uniqueness of that color scheme. Look at the uh, just that's positive design, you know. Look at the positive design. I'm trying to get more of them on the shelf a little bit. So I get this guy from the bottom up here. And EVA foam, they are lightweight, but they're very comfortable. Um, and the more you wear it, your body heat helps it conform to your head shape. But I like that color scheme. You don't see it in haunts. There's no reason why this couldn't be in an asylum as the staff. There's no reason why you couldn't do other things with this. But this is a finish that we'll offer for the apocalypse masks. We'll have them in, this we'll call medical. And then the uh, we'll have the classic rust, which is these two guys up here on the end. These were all supposed to look like that. When we, when we put them together yesterday, that was the plan. But I wanted something timely so that right now you guys could order it and you guys could produce social media content 
that was timely and specific to uh, what is affecting the world right now. So uh, anything that I did not go through, okay, also on the website we will have, when you throw me a bear mask, you know, Jake knows exactly where I was going for. <laughs> Jake's going to put on a bear mask for us. Uh, I've got a lot of requests for our teddy bear masks lately, and I haven't brought them in about three years, three or four. 2017. Oh, yeah, I started effects in 18, so yeah. Yeah, so three or four years, I haven't had teddy bear masks in the booth, and I've got so many requests for them now. Again, that was something I was hoping someone would rip me off and start making them and yeah. filling that need. Though that need isn't being filled, so I brought back, I've got... I was about to say I'm going to have my trans world. Again, so much of the at trans world. But teddy bear mask. If you've ever had the desire to shove your head up a teddy bear's butt, we can make your dreams come true. Don't put your tongue back in. <laughs> That's not as hungry. Oh, we're going to dis disinfect the hell out of that mask. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, we have, what, six, eight of these teddy bear masks? Yeah, but and we we can do more on order if you guys are interested. Um, these are really fun masks. Uh, Universal Studios in California ordered a bunch. This is uncomfortable. Um, yeah, but anyway, uh, so we'll we have those. We'll have them on the site. So yeah, lots is going on. I mean, this is this is what we're up to. This is what we've been doing with our lives. So again, new stuff that we have. We have character hats, accessories. We have the headdresses. Very excited about the headdresses. I'm very excited about Harry and Scary. Um, I'm actually nostalgic about bringing the teddy bear mask back. Um, I made a request on, uh, for the apocalypse masks, what the pricing is for the group. Okay. Eight apocalypse masks for $1,000. That is, that's how we've been doing them. $150 each. And I haven't figured out the price for the four pack yet, but uh, that will be on our website tomorrow when these guys go live. Okay. Um, this, what time is it? How do I do on time? It is 8.36. It's 8.30. Not bad. I thought we would get done about nine o'clock. Um, oh, well, throw me a plant creature. Are we doing all Rob's now? Um, we really don't have a ton of Rob's. We're doing this. Okay. Yeah. Ah! Well, so we have our plant creature that we've been doing for a few years. Mm -hmm. We've been doing plant creatures for a few years. And these guys are nice because, you know, this is when a, when a mask gives dynamic motion. Look at how little I'm moving it. And then it gives you a whole secondary level of motion. This is an actor in a ghillie suit in a greenhouse. This, uh, this actor can be uh, on the side of a trail, just his head sticking out, kind of. And then when they get close, like, what is, what is that? Because this doesn't quite look plant-like. And the actor gets that scare, you know? And it makes the actor seem bigger. Every animal in the world, when they want to scare another animal, they make themselves look bigger. That's, that's what we're doing with this. So this is a plant creature, lion-type monster. Uh, and it's mostly mouth. Right now, someone's taking a photo. Okay. All right. Handle that with care. Great. Um, so that is our stuff. Um, that is, I wanted to show you the stuff you couldn't see at Transworld. And the world is more than stuff. Um, right now, the world is full of people. And uh, check on your people. Be... Um, be cautious, you know, uh, try not to get anybody else sick. Um, as I say that, I am going to fill the screen with people. Can you guys come back here, everybody? Those team still needs to go. Because uh, this is the team that you would have seen in our booth and our neighbor's booth um, with effects to go. Rob's still undressing. And what I hate the most. Damn it, Rob. What I hate the most, he can come in half in costume. Um, what I hate the most about Trans World is that these guys who worked very hard on these things, you don't get to see them. There is a payoff for us 
there's a payoff for us that happens when customers see that product and we can see their face. And I said before, it's our job to give you ideas. That's all that we do. We're here to give you ideas. So um, that that happens on your face when you come to the booth. But uh, the this is the Stilty Studios team. And uh, thank you guys very much for all of your hard work. Thank you. Uh, we thank will you. we will have you know shows coming up. Cranfield's postponed, not canceled. There's also next year. Um, and you know we we will definitely keep making uh, things. We we follow our advice. We go make stuff. Uh, you guys go make stuff, and uh, just take care of each other. It's not just about. Come on in. Get out, for God's sake. Uh, it, it's not just about stuff. It's about people. Uh, because right now, people are scared. We know scared. We're haunters. So we can help kind of calm that down a little bit. Uh, do whatever you can. Don't be knowledgeable, but not panic. Okay? No panic. <laughs> But yeah. <laughs> be knowledgeable, be helpful. This is Cheney. He didn't make anything. He's a good boy. He made a, mess. a thing. He made a mess. He, uh, he destroyed yeah, it. He, he, ate, he, he ate an apocalypse helmet. He did. <laughs> he ate happened. it. He totally ate it. So anyway, but uh, thank you guys. I hope that you guys are all doing well. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Um, and go make stuff. Go make stuff.